Three, two, one, go! Excellent, sexy. Okay, chat, are you all ready? For another exciting episode of War Hums. <laughs> It's so good to see everyone today. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good time. I'm going to make sure these buttons work, and the buttons didn't work. It's all fucked. It's, it's literally broken. Go home. God damn it. All right. No, no Warhammer stream today. Come on, Zorn. Let's go to a better setting called Battletech. Wow. <laughs> wow. We've been... Uh, there we go. I got the buttons to work. That uh, we've been addicted to playing a, a certain game. So with that, hi, everybody. Hope everyone's having a fantastic time. Welcome to episode 23. Hope everyone's nice and safe in their own homes. Uh, Thurston, I hope hi. you have a very interesting story for us today. That sounds like a threat. Okay. Is it fine? Yeah, I see it better. this is. <laughs> the <career's laughs> on the line. You can't, yeah. you Holy can't shit. fuck it up this time. There, no, we love you, Thirsty. <laughs> By the way, uh, just making sure, uh, someone in chat was reporting that I was a little crackly. Am I okay? Uh, you're you're something okay for me? Good. Yeah, making sure. Yeah. Continue. You say that and then he disappears. There he goes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Oh. Uh, uh, fuck it. Continue. She's we in are another world. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hello. 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 We're all here. We're all here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the difficult technicals. This is going to be a rough episode. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> fuck, man. It's going to be the best episode yet. I, I, lost no my, I lost my audio codec for a second and I had to reconnect. Oh no. Jeez. It was like, hey, sorry, uh, all, your, your endpoint didn't work, so try again. It's like, all right, good. Zorin's gremlins are re responding to all of us, I guess, today. Oh my god. Activated gremlin noises. Techno goblins. No. There's only one techno goblin. That's true. And that's Pi. And I love him that's very right. much. And he's here. So he does it. He do. He do. So, uh, Zorn? I, I, I gave you the reins. I'm waiting <laughs> on you. <laughs> Introduce people. And... Yeah, but we're doing, really, this is... we're doing the, no, we usually sometimes do a quick start. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm breaking up the pills. Yeah. Oh, get your pills out. Uh, and, all right, fine. Uh, apparently, we're assuming after 23 episodes, you know who we all are, and we're Jesus starting. Jesus Christ. We've done it multiple <laughs> times. And if you want to understand the pills, you can check out Warham's Fantasy. Dude, I hate God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Never miss a plug. I told you, it's going to be a rough episode. <laughs> You it's like we know, all it's, it's like we all came off vacation <laughs> for some reason, but we haven't taken a break. We haven't. I did it is it is Warhammer's <laughs> fantasy is a vacation from this. That's right. Uh, like, wow. You we, never should have plugged here and now you're Thurston, you're in that game. We love well, you, Hulky. I, I I know I am. Oh, I know you love me. Yeah. I can't pet the dog, but I have a dog at home. We need to so okay. when when you finally have a day off, we need to have Hulky show up as like, I don't know, like some kind of like scarecrow that gets disintegrated or something. Uh, Hulky will show up in that campaign as Carl Franz. I'm going to shove you. Please begin the game. <laughs> all right. All right. Welcome, everyone, to session 23 of, of Warhams. Before we begin, I would like to thank our uh, dear servitors looking after the tater of tots. Uh, Draconic Ballad, Aavik the Gamer, J.G. Wentworth, Austin Bonnert, and El Berezidente. You had Bere to say J.G. Bere Wentworth. Didn't you? I did. I did. Like, look, it was, it was now. Like, it's there. It's there. It happened. Hooray. We have we have servitors. All right. Beautiful. Where are we starting this session? OK, folks. Well, where we are starting is exactly where we left off last session in a tale of two forts with red versus blue, Crute versus Torellians, players versus players and 
Captain Zedek and Pie Brain, heavily mauled and beaten up by a Kroot Narlock, and then Lauren the Psyker triumphantly flying down the tunnel to score the point that capture that point to win the match. Uh, and we begin with both sides coming to a peaceful accord, the Torellians of the Kroot. Uh, shaking hands, a few high fives, or however many digits the respective species have, um, before departing as professionals, leaving our four players on the bridge of the two forts. Uh, Pi having been dragged up after his leg was severely mangled by the Narlock. And we uh, we start with uh, with our group all together, all all at once. <laughs> He was mangled. Mm. Well, you know, that was really nice that they uh, were enemies, and now they are friends. It is was well, a very pleasant phenomena. I agree. Uh, it's good to be yeah. friends again. It's I such, know. We're, so, we're such good agree. friends. I agree. Give me a high five, Reeb. Is Reeb, like, in a body cast? <laughs> Reeb is standing there. Uh, he has a data slate in hand, and he is writing a laundry list of things down. He is writing down expenditures for damaging his coat. He's writing down expenditures <laughs> for damaging his armor. He's writing down expenditures for attacking a member of the Ordo Xenos. This was sanctioned combat. He can't claim that. He is he's just standing there silently watching the two of them making note that the plan was to try and work with these guys to get information, and Pi took it as impetus to blast him with the sun. Reeb, I know you're upset, but you know, we... It, it was all in the thrill of the game. And I and I set I set my pistol to to tickle so I I wouldn't hurt I wouldn't actually kill you. I wasn't trying to kill you. Wait, why would you be upset? You won. Thurston, can I... What, what weapon check would I roll to throw my pen like a throwing knife at Zedek's forehead? Holistic <laughs> skill. Please, please <laughs> yeah. I get a four. What's your defense? Uh, my defense is... Oh, my, my, she just got minimized because I'm on two, one screen now. My defense is two. Thurston. Bonk. Bonk. He takes out another pen and continues writing. Right. It 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 splooshes off of your forehead, Captain Zedek, and into the water below. You hear a distant growl of narlocks. Yeah, it's like I see you down there. I'm gonna call you Daisy. Daisy is a stupid name. You should call him Mechano Chicken. It's not, not even mechanical. Him. It's a living thing. Well, pie. not yet, but we can fix that. Uh, we are not making expenditures to purchase a Kroot Narlock. Oh, why we're not? not? Who said we're going to pay for it? You know how much stuff we don't pay for already? It was a worthy fall, Reeb. Okay, then both of you can go down and collect it. Okay. I All start right, crawling with my broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> Round two! It's just the scraping of, like, <laughs> metal. Uh, and as, as you start to, to go uh, in your... In your pride you hear this kind of cawing from behind you on the other side of the retreat you have done well and emerging is uh the the leader of the crew who approaches towards you wearing this this grayish black cloak clutching some kind of strange xenos weapon uh and advancing with a with a bit of a limp given some of the uh the rigors of combat that just occurred. This avian face coming, looking at you through a cowl of of brown with streaks across it, some sort of war marking. Ah, uh, good. Mm -hmm. I, uh, thank you, but I think you are talking to him. They're talking, they're talking to, to Reeb, Pi. That's what I figured, but I didn't know. Reeb is continuing to write, but he will turn towards the crew. Well, Shaper, I believe this is our first time properly meeting outside of the little battle we just had. He's saying, still not looking at the crew just yet, still writing down. Mm -hmm. How did you find uh, the battle to go? 
I believe the fight went well. There are corpses to be eaten back in our fort. And, like, behind you can hear the sounds of, like, crunching and tearing of meat and bone. But I have eaten enough. My fellows need it more. He takes a step forward, kind of coming to the edge of the bridge opposite you. But I believe you wish to talk to me now that you have completed mission. Uh, and he sort of, while clutching the rifle in one hand, takes, like, this... this claw-like talonous hand out and slams on his chest. I am Shaper Big. Big? Big. Big. Uh, can you spell that for me, GM? B-I-G. Good. Big. He do be kind of big, though. He, do he, be writes, big, he writes that down. <laughs> well, Shaper Big, I suppose we do have some questions for you. Lauren? Yes? Let's talk with our, our friend here for a moment. Zedek, hi. I believe you have words to discuss with your fellow, don't you? Mm, we yeah. do. Hey, can you fix my leg? He was going to look <laughs> at Pi. Mm hmm. Keeping a straight face. No. Why not? Go on. Limp off. <laughs> Zedek will sling Pi over his shoulder. Come on. This not is not you. fair. Why wouldn't you would I fix my leg? We're on the same team now. I do not dig a deeper grave than we are but digging right now. This is combat ineffective. Yeah, we'll get you some wheels. We'll get some some roller blades. Is that, <laughs> wheels is that okay? are for catafrons, not for skitari. Very expensive. <laughs> Zedek and Pi will start to walk away, but Zedek will look yeah, back yeah. to Reeb and be like, Reeb, we, we are sorry, but Please, with, with the uh, the shaper, be careful. He is he is for the big. Hey, <laughs> what? That a, you a, had to, to make off. that reference. Didn't I you? had to. <laughs> I'm sorry. He saw uh, the Grand Canyon and he leapt for it. Uh, uh, very rude. I'll read not to fix my. Uh, okay. uh, the it's two okay. of you walk off, leaving Lorne and uh, Reeb with Shaper Big. Uh, what uh, is it you wish to know? We are currently looking for an individual. Uh, you may know his name. It's rather unique. Another human by the name of uh, Slybergo de Fuckaby. In question, uh -huh. similar to myself. De Fuckerman. Yes. Yes, you see, we are looking for him, and we were looking for any information you could provide on him, seeing as how we assisted you with this battle and ensured that it went well, and not many on your side died, but certainly a few on theirs did. We were hoping you could furnish us with any and all information that you could about Stadafakabi. You see, he is, um, how can I put this? A wanted man for many things. And a fucker. Precisely. Uh, the 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 shaper like turns to Lorne and nods sagely at your addition. Yes, very fucker. Yes, <laughs> this <laughs> this one, this one used many words, but would not pay the meat tithe. Hmm. No bodies for us when he came. The woman saw to that. Hmm. The woman, uh -huh. who is this individual? <laughs> the one, the one with the weapon of fire. Give a description. Did she have a name? Do not know. All human names sound alike. Don't, don't really listen. But he sort of like leans in, looked like that, but bigger and points to, uh, to your flamer, Reeb. Mm. Is this individual wearing any sort of armor similar to he will put his coat will pull his coat open a little bit to show the light power armor he has? Mm. Yes, like that. Yes, very much like that. Uh, did she look like she was wearing a bowl on her head as he sort of mimes having a bowl haircut? Mm. Yes, I think. It was hard to remember specifics. 
she was always firing fire. Mm. Very good. Reeb will write down potential sister of battle. But they came. They wanted ship to ply stars. Took one of the surface shuttles. They were interested in two things. And they were? They wanted much fuel. It's enough to last months in system. And then they also went to outer system. They wanted to investigate far planets from here. Yes. Did anything seem odd about Mr. DeFuckerby other than his demands? Did he happen to have any sort of... I don't know. I don't know how well you can see these things, but did he have any sort of aura about him? Anything unusual for a human? It was strange. After he needed shuttle. Don't know, but all the colors went to white. Mm. Great panic here. All teams had to re reinsert cards to claim territory again. Mass confusion. That is when he left. Lon, does that sound familiar to anything you might know as a psycho? Uh, can I do a check to see if I might recognize what that may be? You can give me a psychic mastery test, Lorne. Excellent. I will do so. I got a seven. That does not sound like... That could be something, but that would be like either a mental change or some kind of like reality-altering psychic power on a massive scale. It seems very unlikely like a, a baseline human psyker could could achieve those kind of results. Not anything any shrimp, any simple user of the psychic powers could do, but once he has something that can make him do otherworldly things far beyond his own power. That seems to be the consensus, given everything we've seen in his wake so far. I'd say, Shaper Big, you got off relatively lightly compared to that. That is good. Me and my warband are weary of that one. But you, you have proven yourself noble ally. Uh, and Shaper Big reaches out the taloned arm in some kind of, like, handshake motion towards you, Reeb. Uh, real quick, can I do a uh, scholar check using my knowledge of Xenos stuff, I guess, in this case? Maybe this isn't biological, but would I know anything about anything to suggest that he's not just giving me a handshake? You can give me a scholar check. How's a five and a complicate sound? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's let's find out what this complication is, because that seems like it could be fun. Um, hmm. Okay, um, I am going to go with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you 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 recognize that this is just like a a a. From like a greeting of like like a handshake, like this is a sign of respect uh, from from the shaper to you. However, the complication is that something you've forgotten about, either on the deck collector or here on the planet, like hits you as you're having this thought. Something like, "Oh, oh, I completely forgot about this," and your eyes go a bit wide. I'll leave it up to you to decide what that is. Um, but but it slightly like stuns you for a moment, uh, making you not immediately raise your hand and return greeting. Oh, damn! Did I disconnect that cable back? In oh, I hope she's still alive when we get back. Oh my god! Oh no! You tell no, Lauren. Uh, did, I, did I forget to disconnect the nitrous tube to the tech priestess we have back on the ship? I don't ever go into your place. Damn it, we'll have to check that as soon as we get back. Oh, sh shit. And then he will do a give a handshake out as well to the uh, crew after remembering. <clears throat> yes, corpse preservation is important. He, like, leans in and gives you a nod and a wink. Yes, quite. Well, 
this has been very useful information. I'm going to just go over my personal list on this side, which I think I've gone over everything I wanted to ask him. Mm. Oh, wait, no, I did not. One more thing. Yes. Did they say where they were heading at all? Out system far planets. They wanted to look at the far planets. Outer ring, eh? Far out. At least uh, the fourth onwards. I see. Well, that certainly gives us a direction, at least. My thanks, they, Shape of Bill. They asked us to go them. with, but we did not. Well, I can't imagine they would have been all too thrilled about your decline. Now, I have question, if I may be so bold. Reed will narrow his Bye. gaze and say, Go ahead, Xenos. Hmm. What would you do with Penguin? I assume that is your friend that Captain Zedek has offered as a job? Yes. The one you have taken into your service. I see. The plan is, as with most people we take on board, to continue to build a stockpile of individuals for later use, should the need arise. And it may be useful to have a Xenos on the ship in such a format, provided, of course, it does not get into much trouble. <clears throat> Bondage to you now. That one is yours. Your captain's. Quite. We will make sure that he either lives or dies well. Good. Good, good. There's, like, some, some nodding. Then I leave you to your human affairs. We must return to... And then you just hear the sound of, like, more crunching and, like, eating in the background. Things. Mm. Quiet. The shape oh. returns and walks away. Oh, well, shape before, a big. Before he leaves, is the shaper yeah. wearing a hat? Uh, he's got like a cowl over his head. He's, he's got, got a hat under it, right? What? What? Zoran, look at the art, damn it! Right yeah, that, here, here's the art again. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a hat. I want that's it. An, that's not a hat. That's his skin. That's, that's what that's looks like. It's his hair. I don't think Lauren cares if it's scared. Are you gonna just scalp Shaver Big? <laughs> Sorry, I Jesus. didn't get a reward for winning that match for him. I need to get something sink. <laughs> Your reward is not dying. Your reward is being pulped like Reeb almost was. You probably could have gotten him to work for us if you had. Yeah. Zora, don't forget I tanked for you. <laughs> And tight for your weak bones. <laughs> and out of right, next next <laughs> as you pull out as you pull out the knife, even though this is a subterranean installation, something falls from the sky above and lands in front of you. Uh huh? It's a crate. Oh no, nah, fuck this joke. We're in the next bit. Alright, we go back. <laughs> good, good job. You pissed him off so much he gave up. That's right. That's the that's the way you gotta handle it. Uh, all, all right. So so cutting to uh, to <laughs> Captain Zedek and Pybrae, who have gone uh, to the the fort of the Torellians. Um, Zedek, you're holding Pi over your shoulder. Uh -huh. And you know, I just want to say that that was so rude. He could have healed my leg. Why is he so angry? Pi, you nearly turned him into nuclear slag. Admittedly, I also shot him, but I didn't try to kill him. Well, I, well, I thought that that was the point. He was going to shoot me with a flamethrower. It was an optimized tactical solution. No, we were actually going to kill each other, and he couldn't hit you from up there with a flamer. Uh, he, to, to be fair, I guess you have the excuse of ignorance. I shot him out of malice. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Why would he not try to kill us? It was a combat simulation. Because we weren't actually trying to kill each other. We were just, it was theatrics, Pi. Do you not know theatrics? What? No. Oh, we don't have those. Oh, Pi, I, as much as you must teach me the ways of the Mechanicus, I must teach you the art of theater. It's a, it's a principal human, I think it's a principal human value in this setting. I don't know anymore. <laughs> but I will teach you our ways. But why would you pretend to fight when you can just fight for real? Because they're our friends and we weren't supposed to kill them. Well, but, you know, it happens. 
sometimes it happens. And when it happens, we have the Inquisition breathing down our backs and possibly killing us too. Winston, I've had artillery called on my position before. What's the big deal? Wh why? Why did you have artillery called upon you? Well, I mean, you know, it was like, okay, advance here. All right, you're good. All right, cool. Hold that position. All right, we're going to bombard the planet. And then, you know, I was there. We had to get out. And think of what happens. So they told you to go somewhere, and then they baited you into essentially a trap to bombard you with the planet. It sounds like they kind of tried to get rid of you. No, they wouldn't do that. I hope they wouldn't. But... No, let me audio. It's just let me audio we're talking you, about. You've now walked through the entirety of the fort, reaching the control room at the bottom, having gone down several stairs during this conversation. And then you just hear this, ah, mm, hello. Oh, greetings, welcome to the control room, excellent attempt, boys. From Pasha Terrier, who greets you as you come down to the control room. Hi, Pasha. Pasha. I'm sorry things didn't go as planned, but I guess not all of us died, so... And you didn't die, so it's, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. Quite an impressive showing, I would say, though we have not done the best that we were able. Sadly, we were without our war beast for this attempt, but next time, next time our beast will be prepared. Oh, there was supposed to be a backup. I didn't know that. Yes, yes, yes. The only problem with our war beast was that it was shot five times in the skull, sometimes prior to the engagement. Oof. That's unfortunate. These things happen. These things happen. They do. Well, <laughs> now that the, the formalities are over with the combat phase, I suppose we can resolve and get to the business, so to speak. Now, uh, while the theatrics yeah. of combat are all well and good, and essentially neither one of us would have ultimately had a loss since we're both controlling the refineries, um, I, I did have a couple of questions for you, Pasha. Oh, yeah, well, of course, I, I am sometimes willing to speak with the losers about these things. <laughs> Hold on, aren't you one of the losers? Of course. Yeah. Well, but you said that in like a kind of barbed way. Well, yes, I don't like associating with other losers when I can, you know, not have that happen. Well, you think we're losers? Captain Zedek just stares on in incredulity, just like, I, might, I may be stupid, but... Now hold on there, Buster. I like you, dog man, but... The person who beat you was on our team, and we only lost because we were separated. And I had, uh, you know, people got mad at me for shooting my friend, and that's just, I'm, I don't know why they do that. But listen, okay? You were beaten by Team uh, Debt Collector, technically. Uh, we are also part of that team, so in a way, we're the win-losers. Well, really, we're the lose-winners, and they're the win-losers. What kind of social skills do you have to influence this fellow? Um, <laughs> well, I'm technically using math to prove my point. So clearly tech. No. Uh, <laughs> I hate it here. Uh -huh. I, uh, <laughs> um, well, Pi's incredible fellowship one is not the most persuasive thing in the world. Um, but I could try leadership. I mean that sounds that sounds interesting. Let's it let's sure look does. that a little bit. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a I'm gonna spend two of glory on this. All right, we are draining the glory. Absolutely, yeah. draining the glory. glory. For those watching at home, that's going to be a grand total of four successes for Pie Brain. Uh, uh, Captain Zedek, are you uh, assisting at all in no, this? No, I am not assisting <laughs> in this endeavor. He is, he is, if he's going to make his grave, I'm not going to lie in it with him. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You, you certainly look like a win. And then his eyes go to your leg. Loser. Woof. Hmm. You know, I really wish you didn't say that. I'm going to get out my plasma gun. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to look at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't make me, dog man. Captain Zedek looks over at Pi and just shoots him a glare that says no without words. Uh, You're a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Was there any doubt? Oh, man. <laughs> Captain Zedek will look back at uh, Pasha. Aside from our little Burgoyning spat, let's get back to the matter at hand. 
the reason we're all here in this installation is on the trail of a very horrible individual by the name of one Slyburgo de Fuckerby, often ending the epithet with 24th of his name. Ah, yes, Burgo de Fuckerby, the 24th of his name. Someone from a, a proud lineage of your kind, as far as I am aware. Well, allegedly so, but his lineage has proven to be quite tainted as our interactions with his, well, followers and those who he's met in his wake have proven to be less than desirable. What do you know about Slyburgo? I, but he has passed through here before, so we're just trying to kind of follow where he's gone. What social skill would you like to give me, Captain Zedek? I would like to make a cunning test, since this would be acquiring goods, services, and information outside of traditional or official channels. Absolutely. Give me, give me that cunning, please. Sure. Yeah. Any second. A two! We're starting the session big. Hey, can, I, uh, can I wrap two? that? You absolutely I got better score. can. Absolutely hey. can. And a three. Yeah, that tracks. That tracks. Uh, Cyberger and the fuck will be spent some time with us in enjoying some of our uh, more amenable accommodations whilst we prepared a shuttle for him with which he intended to depart on. Well, and did he say where he was headed? No, oh, no, 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 no. Certainly, we would not be able to give you that information, given that it was given in confidence. You must understand, we are dog soldiers of the highest regard. Bluff. Right. Dog soldiers of the highest regard. I don't know your culture's customs, so let, let me be straight with you. I will pay you money to tell me where he went. Oh, oh, well, I see that. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Well, how much money? Well, <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Captain Zenith didn't think he was actually going to ta ask how much. He was just going to. This, this is where <laughs> this is where you would make an influence check to see if you have enough. I'm sure I do. I'm a I'm a I'm a rich man. Road traders are rich men. Yeah. Yeah. Are it's you be a three? three Nervous plus. laughter. All right, uh, so first of all, are you happy with that, or would you like to reroll? <laughs> I'm not happy with what you just told me, so... Excellent. Wow. Uh, Captain, please please click that Wrath reroll Let's, button. Uh, Let's Captain's second Wrath now. away the first 30 minutes of the <laughs> session. Void! Here we go, five. All right, so uh, would you be willing to spend two wealth to successfully influence these these fine people? Ooh, that's a, that's a bit rich for my blood. It's fair. Hmm. Yeah, well, fuck it. All right, I'll spend. I'll spend the money. Oh Jesus! I'm sure Zedek will make the money back later. No, he won't. <laughs> Look, oh, it says somewhere in the book on on page I don't know two thirty two that you got to spend money to make money, and sometimes you lose money spending money to make money, but you'll eventually make that money back by spending that... money. Which book are you? <laughs> what book are you saying this is from? Well, it's clearly from Zedek, my renowned self-help and confidence-building guide to navigating Zedek. the... Wait! The and, like, his eyes, the Pasha's eyes go wide. Wait! You are saying that you are the author of Zedek? Well, that is correct. I've, I've published Zedek in its numerous, numerous revisions. You see, all of my men require the book. All of them. I require all of your copies of the book. Well, that's, that will be the wealth with which you provide me. Do you want me to just because I assume a lot of Zedek's actual wealth is represented by printings of Zedek. It. If it's not in the cabin, it's probably in the cargo hold. So yes. <laughs> mm. uh, sure, I, I I'd be happy to provide you a, a copies of the book. Would you like me to just sign them too? Yes, my men would certainly appreciate the uh, Would you be willing to sign for all of my men? Wolf? Of course, I'd be happy to. How many? How many are there? Twenty-five thousand six hundred and eighteen. Wolf. Take fifteen wounds. <laughs> Zedek is down. <laughs> Zedek, Zedek collapsed. Uh, that's all of your shock. You're exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's certainly shocking. Does the Vox? Do we still have the Vox beads from our previous? Uh, previous departure right. under the Carillon. Uh, no, 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 because you didn't set up your weird servitor relay bullshit this time. Zedek mm -hmm. will pull out a recorder from his jacket and click the record button. I love that you're doing this while holding pie. <laughs> like... 
Oh, I'm just kind of like, I'm like, my legs are draped over his shoulders. I'm like riding him like, it's like Master Blaster. Oh my god. <laughs> Mecha Shiva, you know, Mecha Shiva. Zedek, here's a really good idea for the future. You can have the regular printing press that produces, you know, regular Zedek kits, and then you can have the specialty press, the one that produces signed copies of Zedek kit. It's genius. <laughs> I mean, that, I just that was part of my can. solution. I just assume he has a bunch of ratlings who are making his signature in the Oh, oh no, so I want to point out to you, important. Zedek, I want to point something out to you. You, you may have used that line before, the one where you have to sometimes spend money to make money in the course of spending money, you might lose money. That whole bit you did there, while you were saying that, you swear you could hear Reeb in the back of your head saying, Zedek, that's gambling. <laughs> <laughs> And his gambling is legal on the debt collector. And because I'm a rogue trader, na 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 boo boo. Where's his casino? <laughs> well, well then, okay. what, uh, what exactly information are you looking for with regarding to slab of your defunctory bluff? Well, we first of all, where is he? Did he say where he was going off to? We're looking for anything that we can find to locate him. It's critically important to the survival of. Well, everybody, I think, with everything we found out about him. Uh, of course, he's, he's requisitioning a shuttle from the, uh, the deplorable Kutz, where I believe he was indicating that he was planning on beginning his journey out by Fimbria 4. Well, Fimbria 4. And did he mention why he was going to Fimbria 4? Mm. Uh, apparently, he said to find riches and points. Well, of Motherfucker, it was always a bad point. <laughs> Don't worry, Pi will get his points. We'll kill him and take his points. Yes. Ah, ah this, this point system seems nebulous to me. Is this some sort of situation where if you kill him, you claim his points? Oh, well, actually, I don't even know. It doesn't work that way. Whatever. Uh... Captain Zedek will, like, <laughs> drop Pi down and cover his audio cogitators and just tell the Torellian dog soldier. Look, no, the points don't actually matter. Only he cares about them, but I'm not going to get in the way of him and the points if it's me at the end of a sword. Just act like they're important. He nods. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The points, of course, you must do everything you can to claim those points, bro. Mm, I will not question the conspicuous silence. <laughs> yes, we must. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, then, I believe you must travel out. He said he would begin near Fimbria 4. Perhaps you could find some clues around there. Well, That's I apologize. We do not have additional information for you at this time, but know that you have made a powerful ally in the Trillian Dog Soldiers of my command, and that I, Pasha Terrier, will stand ready to fight you in the moment of need. Wait, fight us or fight for us? fight with you. Oh, okay, good. I wanted oh. to make sure. Yeah, we are actually wondering, could you, you guys want to hang out with us? There's always more room in the deck collector, and there's plenty of things you could train against and hunt. There's horrible things that need hunting in oh, the yeah. lower decks. I can show you all the places I hunt in the lower decks. Pi, what hmm. do you mean by that? Why do you mean? All right, you are going to have to have some kind of social skill if you want to convince this uh, this dog soldier Pasha to give up his lucrative, lucrative job here on Fimbria 2 to travel out to the debt collector oh, for man. nebulous circumstances. What uh, what skill are you wanting to use for this? Hmm. Persuasion. Okay, okay, okay. Real, real quick. Um, well, well, no, no, no. Persuasion. Okay, okay. This is gonna be a real tough. Like this is like you're you're trying to get a small army, so this is important here. Yes, that is correct. All right, give me give me your persuasion. Can I assist him with uh, intimidation? Not necessarily to scare him, but to showcase my power. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But let's start and with the persuasion. Can we also spend like five glory on this? Yes. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Please right. do. Here we go. Let's uh, let's give him that roll first. Uh, persuasion. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. As soon as my eyes line up. I believe in you. <sighs> so the two to start. We're oh, that's a spike. It's okay. Like you're concentrating so hard. <laughs> like I said, I have to wait for my eyes to align. 
<laughs> it's a six. And look, mm -hmm. do the do the, the dice first. Give me okay, five d six. Five d six. Those are all okay. not that good. So you get well, you get you get nine, three more. So you're up to nine. Mm -hmm. And we'll wait. Um, for... You do have Actually, your like... wrath points back. I would yeah. like to wrath this and reroll. So of the you dice. can reroll four dice. Sure. The last one being 46. the important one. All right. Two, yeah. Eight, six. Here they come. Ah, Damn, wow. 10, oh, 11, 12, 12 four. 13. I believe. Yeah, 13. Yep. yep. That's 13. As you see, being on this 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 planet has made my voice a little bit soft. Woof. I believe that we could perhaps a little bit better, better situation on board your vessel, but I couldn't possibly bring all of my lads onto your ship, uh, as there are 26,000, as I previously stated. Oof. Perhaps a, a contingent, perhaps a group of 5,000 of us could, could attend to your vessel. Oof. This would be perfectly fine. Do any of your, do any of your fellow men, are they versed in mechanics, engineering, or just combat? Just combat. That's fine. All we're good at. <laughs> wow, that's fine. All right. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Mm. Where's that more manuals to send it into the tech guts? Where what did you... you just say? Woof. <laughs> Look, we're having a we're having some people who want to not be combat on the ship, so we need someone to whip them into shape, so to speak. And who better to motivate them than accomplished soldiers of your pedigree? Mm -hmm. ah, yes, of course, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. And if they don't want to be shaped up, we, well, you, I suppose you can hunt them down. <laughs> All right, then. Let us be Why on our I way. Why say that? Why am I okay with this? <laughs> you know, it's another thing that is pretty cool is that soon there's going to be a giant crusade fleet with a bunch of money and tall people, and um, they could possibly employ the rest of your friends and pay you even bigger money. All right, so, so I'm gonna like just cut forward to back to Reeb and Lorne who are on the bridge having talked to the uh, shaper big, and then like clearly after the conversations that have just happened, uh, Captain Zedek comes out with uh, with pie on his shoulders. Okay, Hello, we're back. We did a thing. Hi, Reeb. Fix my uh, leg. Can can, can Lauren and um, Lorne and Reeb give me awareness tests, please? I make a psychic mastery. I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a five. Ooh, Reeb, get a six. So, like, as as like Zenek says this, we did a thing. You hear the sound of marching <laughs> coming from the fort as hundreds of Torelli and Tox soldiers begin to walk out behind Captain Zenek. Thousands, yeah. even. <laughs> well, five hundreds from here. They're scattered <laughs> around the planet, you know. True. Reeves they mobilize faces a quick. straight line. He is, he is a straight line across his mouth right now. Captain. We got friends. Did we need them? Yes. For what? Gun. Gun good. Gun also, remember, it's we will to acquire resources for the crusade. Uh -huh. And they are resources, because they can fight and kill. Yes, but what did you pay them with? Zedekit. I okay, hate it. 25,000 signed copies. Reeve, I'm going to need you to augment my hand. I'll tell you what, Captain. We don't have the resources for that, but I'll treat your carpal tunnel. This is acceptable. You may stay on the ship. Mm. <laughs> so how many crook did you guys get? None, because we're not hiring them. Why we're, not? Because we're here for information, Pi. Yeah, but the crusade. It's a big reason why we're here. Oh, also the conspiracy. Yeah, people like that book. We the have millions of copies in storage. Pi, the conspiracy is going to be solved with information, which we're acquiring from people, not Tyrellian dog soldiers. Well, the Karelian dog soldiers can solve a conspiracy after we get the information. No, they can't. That's not how that works. Well, no. Once we get the information, we solve it by attacking the conspiracy. Yes, it's not how solving a conspiracy works. What? what? No, you find the information and then you, you confront whoever's behind the conspiracy and mm -hmm. then maybe you kill them. Exactly. That's the second part. 
You don't attack. You can't attack a metaphysical concept, Pi. Oh, Even I know that. I'll do it. I bet you will. I bet you will. Oh, oh, hello there. Shut up. How are all of you doing? Oh, Great oh, and tiny goblin. Uh, as, as Tobias <laughs> comes out from the uh, the the Kurt fort, I thought I'd come and see how things were going. Things are great. going, Tobias. Times are pretty great, yeah. That's a that's a water Tewellian component. What are you doing with them? Uh, we have just achieved them. What? Mm, yes. He's hired them. What? Mm hmm. Yes. Pasha Terrio, is this true? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I believe it's a uh, high time that, that means some of my my men <laughs> move, move on, you see. Oh. Oh, we we. Taking out the plasma gun, pointing it at the child. Okay, <laughs> wait, no, no time. Wait, don't you move no a time. muscle, tiny man. Pi, we don't need to shoot him. He's okay. gonna shoot him. That's what he's gonna do. He always. I mean, it. he's probably gonna give him a severance notice, whether that's a piece of paper or at the end of a gun. I don't Listen, know. If I were him, I would shoot them, and I'm not him. But, but you're I'm not me. him because he's the one who oversees the installation. That's right, and he's gonna, gonna do a smart to thing. Take the plasma gun out of Pi's hand. What's please? Lauren doing, like during all of this? Lauren will come over to Pi Brain. All right, let's 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 wait a moment, Pi, and Lauren will kind of take his hand, kind of push the gun down. Let's hear what he has to say first. Mm, but I'm great with kids. Bias, do you have any objection to this? Oh, oh, I am so glad that you asked my opinion. You see, these components belong in the installation. Taking owned? them would be a grave offense. I am owned? not sure if I like that. Are they owned by the installation, or are they part of the installation by they volunteered to be here? Well, nobody volunteers to be here. They are paid to do their component job. And they are quitting their job because they are going to be paid as well. I have had a lot of people quit their jobs on my ship. And they take their business elsewhere, sometimes on a planet, sometimes at the airlock. It really depends on the person. Oh, wait, then. But if you require some level of recompense or a favor owed, I am happy to oblige as we are, well, hiring some of your workers. I would require replacement components. We may be able to solve that. But we'll yeah, pin you in for an IOU since we do have others to recruit. Oh, for the love of. Tedek, don't forget, we need these forces for the crusade. If we're just dropping off more men, then we're not gaining anything. Exactly, which is why I'm not going to give him our men. Mm. What do you have in mind? Hmm. I have an idea. Yes. Have a... Do you make it a habit to speak your plans out loud? Only sometimes. Freeb is looking at Tobias, who is presumably listening to everything that Zedek has been saying just now. Tobias just has a little smile on his face. Presumably. The, the childlike, like, robed figure just smiling at you, arms tucked in the folds of the robe. Tobias, what? I have a genuine question here. No. No. Yes? No. Who runs this facility, specifically? What do you mean? The one, not necessarily the family, but who is the overseer? Who is the one who is fully in charge of the station? Are you the overseer of the station, or are you a component? No, person? I am only the third oldest here. Hmm. And who is the oldest? Oh, I believe they are on the other side of the planet. That mm. would be Elma. I see. Captain, before we go purloining someone else's materials, perhaps we should pay a visit to the person who owns the installation, hmm? There is no ownership here. We mainly maintain the installation. 
On whose behalf? On behalf of the planet of Fimbria Majoris. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if you do this, you may take these components, but I will remember that. What if I were to offer you something that you could not get anywhere else? Like what? Like a Zenical pullout, yet another innocuous item from his coat pocket, like a small data slate. Uh... 2,000 first edition runs of Zedekit, including page gilding and signature? It also comes with a small Zedek standee. Thurston, I would like to roll to sigh. <laughs> you don't have to roll for that. Tobias's head cocks slightly. Who the fuck do you think I am? <laughs> Somebody who knows how to appreciate a good book. I would like to roll persuasion. I hate you so much. <laughs> I, I, I hate myself. I have to try. I really like how you thought, oh yeah, we'll hire the dark soldiers. Mm. There will be no repercussions for this action. Well, 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 but this isn't the consequences of my own actions. If it wasn't for the consequences of my thick ass. That's true. Somebody wants to be shot with tickle mode again. <laughs> I, this is the player saying it, not Reed. Oh. <laughs> Fire. I, I'm on to you, player of Reeb. Fire, fire <laughs> away on the persuasion check. Go. All right, I'm going to get a one and a complication. You better, Watch you this. better figure this yeah. out. A five ah, and a complication. Jesus that's Christ. pretty good. Okay. Okay. Excellent. He calls him an idiot. <sighs> okay. okay. Okay, so bias. I'm I'm figuring out I'm figuring out the complication real. All right, here we go. This is the uh, this is the complication. Um, Captain Zedek, you you this is uh, Commodum Nosit by Shimaloa. Thank you, patron. Uh, the complication is the PC succeeds regardless of their action but is also knocked prone by the force of their conviction. So I want you to give a rousing speech that, that convinces poor Tobias to give up his components, but it's so passionate you fall on your ass. Begin. Well, you see, you see, Tobias, Zedekin has helped countless Imperials out known space here. It has changed the lives of so many for the better to teach them to live like the most accomplished and important person slash road trader that there has ever been in this local millennia, me, Captain Zedek, DF Mascadolce. In fact, I have spread the creed of Zedek and thus the Imperial truth to countless worlds across the Imperium and beyond because I am so dedicated to making people, occasionally Xenos who think like us, mostly the ones who don't want to kill us, that they can be the best they can, and truly nobody else can be like them because somebody else can do the hard work for them. I am all about that. I'm about self-help, and you know what? I know you understand that too. That book teaches you how to manage your components so they do never actually want to be hired by other people. How to inspire confidence, security, and fear in those who work under you to achieve new heights you have not previously realized. In fact, all of my workers know it because I really do not know how to do my job sometimes, but I play it off like I do because that's the kind of man and rogue trader I am. I am Captain DF motherfucking Basca Dolce and I approve this book. So please, you want this. I know you want this. So take these fucking signed copies because they're worth more than probably crowns. I also want to say that clearly that entire speech is just the back copy on the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're reading. <laughs> I'd like to make a distinction that only certain editions have a back copy that is twice the length of the front of the front cover. I'm sorry, yeah. back cover. <laughs> Very good. And with that it makes them valuable. They're also and, points. And with that you slip and fall on the side of, of the bridge. <laughs> now do you see what I mean? Am I finally getting through? You are on top of me. 
I'll just take the books and get the fuck off my planet. Sounds good. Excellent. I'm Patton glad I'm going to remove him, his backside <laughs> from pie. Ah, the Torellians are like golf clapping. Man, it's pretty good, boss. Uh-huh. Uh. Okay, Tobias. Well, it was a lot of fun. I hope next time we come, your planet is less of a shithole. Okay. Goodbye. Good Please enough. leave. Okay. We're leaving. That and carry then... me. I'm underground. <laughs> under... There's no ground here. You can't be under it. Uh-huh. Gotcha. 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 Terry. Oh, the ground. Oh, <laughs> the terrier terrier comes up. How was the fool? Sorry. Pasha Terrier comes up. I shall begin preparing my men for embarkation. Uh, we don't have any shuttles that we own, but we can utilize some of them to ferry men back and forth up to your vessel. Woof. Uh, will you have lodgings and accommodations prepared for us? Woof. Of course, there are. You'll proceed along the concourse marked on the ship by the yellow line. You will take that to our resource officer. He will give you what you need and find your accommodations for you. If they are not to your liking, I am sorry, but we will improve them over the next month. All right, I shall prepare the men and allow you to go head back to your vessel to make the necessary preparations. Woof. Wonderful doing business, and welcome to the Debt Collector. Well, well that's an interesting name for a vessel. Uh, I look forward to collecting debts and making money. Woof. You, and you are a man. You are a dog soldier who has read Zedeket. I appreciate you. There is a salute, and and the the dog soldiers walk off. Zedek will salute back and turn back to the the party. That went well, I think. Pi, what do you think? Just slung over Zedek's shoulder still. I think it went pretty good. I mean, you know, sometimes word fighting is better than physical fighting. Also, I just realized for a ship called the Debt Collector, we really don't collect a lot of debts. We mostly just owe money. They mostly incur the debt, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, there was that one time we collected that planet's debt. It was very violent, but it was very fun. Oh, we should do that again. We yes, will. I'm we, sure we will. And then we never did it again, Captain. Now we're just yeah. owing debts to everyone. Yeah, well, well we, we didn't just... have a renegade planet full of very bad people for very bad things that we mm. didn't have to completely exterminate. That's right. We do still need to shoot the conspiracy. Captain, perhaps you should start worrying about collecting debts rather than making them for yourself. I it's like a very easy it. thing to do. This was a one very balanced transaction, Reeb. I lost some copies of Zedekit, sold some copies of Zedekit, and gained 5,000 dog soldiers. So I call it a win. Uh -huh. Captain, can we afford food? There are menials on the ship, and there are quartz starch production plants. We can afford to feed them. Captain, can we afford to maintain medical upkeep? Can we do anything? Or did you just blow it all on dog soldiers? No, we didn't really lose anything in that transaction. And yes, we can afford the upkeep. I intend to fix that when we get back to the ship. I think you'll find my solution desirable. Uh -huh. And uh, worse to worse, we can just get a bigger ship. No, we, we can't. can't do that. We cannot do that, Pi. This is our ship, and we cannot make it bigger. Why, why can't we? Why it's can't very we... expensive. Well, I mean, we, how, how much money if we pool our money? I don't make enough to get a ship this big. Not yet. Do okay. you make enough to get this kind of ship? Mm, I am mostly paid in, uh, well, I'm not really paid. Lord, how much are you paid? I don't get paid. Uh, this yeah. is like the modern equivalent of people talking about owning a house. It's yeah. like oh, it's like four friends. Three of them are like, I can't afford anything, and the the fourth is like, I inherited mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is like that, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, too real, <laughs> too fucking real. Why don't All we? Right, uh, this conversation carries on. Too much avocado toast, Zedek. <laughs> How else do you expect me to maintain my complexion? Uh -huh. This conversation carries on until you get back to the shuttle, uh, reaching the silo where the Arvis later awaits you, uh, and and you have communications back to the debt collector as you can head back into orbit. Good. I assume you are letting the uh, the servitor do the autopiloting for you, and all of you are kind of sitting in the shuttle. It takes off, uh, and you hear the the crackle of Vox connection to the debt collector. Should you wish to send a message, of course. Mm -hmm.
Uh, is, this, is this thing on? Hello? Captain! I oh, okay. get some. Captain, it's good it's good to hear your voice. It's good to hear yours too, better than the horrible people who we've had the pl displeasure of meeting, but we'll never meet again because we're banned. But point being, uh we are coming back to the ship. Everything went fine. Uh we've secured some material refineries and mining resources for the crusade, and we've gained some more crew. Oh. Oh, I see. That's 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 great, Captain. Yes, now, isn't it? I do expect them to be treated with respect, mostly because I fear them, and I don't want—I don't actually want the menials to be eaten. Are but they, are they combatants, Captain? No, they are. Well, well, yes, they are combatants, but they're not enemy combatants. They're—they're they're working with us under contract. I don't—I get this. I literally paid them in Zedekit. Do you, can you believe that? Are you kidding me? They actually took it as payment. It's great. Wow. You kept saying you dreamed of that plan working one day. And look at you. Now it's working. Oh, my little Zedek's growing up. Oh, you can't call me that anymore. I'm a grown-ass man. That's fair. That's my apologies. But, well, <laughs> any, anyways, Captain, I just want to say that um, we really need some combatants right now. Is there something going on on the ship? Well, I don't know exactly what's happening, but there are some problems in the lower decks right now. Define problems, Ransom. Some some of the crew down there have taken some unscheduled holidays. Again? Several days worth of unscheduled holidays, sir. Ah, so it's that kind of holiday. It's the, uh holiday on Katachan, as it were. Well, sir, I believe the, the the various tribes down there have just reached a point of unruliness where we can't contain them anymore. Who's winning? Uh, none of them. They just keep beating themselves into nothingness. As they are always want to do, of course. Well, I was well, thinking if we could hire some mercenaries, we could have them clear the lower decks. We can, actually. We have five like thousand. a training exercise, and it then we'd be. get some more corpse starch, which we're desperately low on. That, yeah, it is true. We haven't had a lot of people horribly die since we've left, which is kind of strange, all things considered. But with that being said... We do have 5,000 dog soldiers about to board the ship. Oh, five, 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 five thousand, sir? Yes, 5,000. And we have another 20,000 down on the planet. But they're not that's, coming with us. They're just in the wings. That's, that's a, that's a quarter of our crew. Sir, sir, we will, we'll, we'll definitely need more corpse starch if we're bringing on that many souls. You are, you are absolutely correct. And that is why we are investing in better food production. I have already reached out in several channels to create some new food production measures on the debt collector. Uh, of course, the upper staff is taken care of, though the menials and anybody lower than the commanding officers will need some other form of food. But I know 99% of the crew. <laughs> we, have, we have contracted several food providers beyond the rattlings to set up shop, so to speak, in the, the main concourse, and be affordable, too. This, of course, will come at cost to our finances, but I'm sure we can recoup the losses and write it off. Captain. Yes. Can we please invest in an accountant? That's a very good idea. Reeb Van Horn, how would you like to be my accountant? Uh, can I roll a scholar to see if I'd be any good at that? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to take the two glory that's in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> this is an important test. Oh, damn. You're pulling double duty. Yeah. Well, that four kind of sucks, so I'm going to re-roll it. Do it. Okay, <laughs> do that wrath point. It's a six. Can I wrath it again? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough? Uh, you, you, you could, like, do passable accounting, for sure. Passable is acceptable on the deck collector. Passable is, uh, that's considered to be specialist on this crew. 
<laughs> and in most of the Imperium and Administratum. The Arvis uh, pulls in and docks, the, the Vox kind of clicking out as you have like con through the atmospheric envelope of the ship and landed in the in the docking bay. Very well then, Captain. I suppose I will be your accountant from here forward, among other things on this ship. Thank you. I appreciate you taking up that offer. I wouldn't trust anybody else Captain, to do it. I will going to, I'm going to ask you one very important thing. Okay. Because I know how you handle Gamu's notices. If I find out that you're ignoring my notices, I will have you know there will be hell to pay. Unlike with Gamu, who's content to sit in her little container down there, there will be repercussions for ignoring your accountant. I would also pay for ignoring you because you'll keep me from dying, and that's more important to me than the expenditures on the ship. So, I have thought of a contingency. Oh my god. And Zedek will reach over to the nearest comms unit once they disembark from the Arvis. Yeah. Attention, attention crew members. Please send the taxmen, not the shooty kind, especially not the shooty kind, that is the full name, to the main loading bay. Thank you. Terrific. Hang it up. Mm. I have taken the liberty of getting you a staff because I am very bad at my finances, so I've asked several people to start learning the book smarts from the various books that I have as part of my father's collection and see what we can do about it. Captain, you've had an accounting team on this ship the whole time? No, I have not. I have just told them to start learning how to be accountants. Oh, for goodness sake. All right. Very right, well. Get it queued hey. up in his research oh, tab. shit! And then Reeb will immediately start running towards the med bay. <laughs> just <laughs> again. Oh, Derek, run back too, because I my my leg. My leg? My leg! I, uh, I, can't, I can't run with you on my shoulders. You're like a million pounds. Well, okay, then we need to talk about uh, upgrades. Oh, I can assist you. From the shadows emerges the immense bulk of Gamu 4224 mechadendrites moving around as she comes out. Ah, pie brain, it appears you are broken. I can <laughs> fix you. I don't think that will be necessary, tech priest Gamu 4224. Pi, why don't you get up and tell the, tell her that to her face? Yeah! Zedek will send him down his legs. Like, imagine that he's holding him. It's very hard, because Zedek only has a Fucking strength of two. Dick. But he's like, <laughs> spinning his legs like a duck being held aloft. As soon as he gets set down, what happens? Pi immediately, uh, leg damage, reverse disabled. <laughs> I mean, you could give me a... Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I'm trying to stand up on one leg and balance. <laughs> hop, hop, hop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, give me an athletics test, sure. Sure. Six successes. You're hopping on one leg defiantly. <laughs> he does it. That's my boy. He does it. <laughs> Flat Tim. Thank you, Erndil. I'm glad you... Ah, oh, yes, I am sure the one-legged master of Lemuria will inspire dread in his foes. <laughs> oh. Well, Gamu, the fact I do not inspire dread in you is a deficiency of your mental engrams. But don't worry, I will correct it one day. Oh, perhaps it will take two days because you'll have to walk slowly. Ha 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 ha! Once you realize you need another leg, you will come and see me. Don't worry, I have the unit all prepared. She pulls a box out from the like the filing cabinet that is her base, uh, and like opens it, and there's pneumatic hiss and like venting steam comes out, and you see this pristine new augmentic leg with a rune and sigil of Maiden Grya along the side of it, acid etched. <laughs> Look at it! It's so beautiful! <laughs> well, I admit it is fine, except for that terrible sigil at the top. <laughs> Gamu! <laughs> when you come crawling to me to install... <laughs> Crawling to me to install it. I'll be waiting. She closes the case and like moves off. 
<laughs> Out of character, Thurston, please don't make yes. me paint freehand a very tiny Grya symbol on Pi's leg. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> kinda... Okay, it is time for me to create my own leg. Lauren will come up to Pi. Yeah, Pi, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. Get and Lauren will offer a shoulder for Pi to go on. You, you go take care of your crew, Daddy, if need be. I probably should check on the, the not killy taxman. That is totally their name. Thank you, Lauren. You are the person I wanted to shoot at least. Of course. Where is your workshop? Well, well, we got to go to Reeb and see if he can fix it. And if he cannot, no. then I will. Reeb did say no. I well, he said oh, no, pass, but. Ask certain parts of the debt collector to get to your workshop, correct? Ah, uh, well, you know, there is a workshop that I have, yes. Uh, it is uh, located on the most optimal subsection. Uh, it is the one that is very high up. It's on the top floor, because I like to be tall. Oh, I see. I see. It's usually the ones near, like, uh, some burning furnaces, right? Yes, it is nearby the giant chasm. Oh, you really got to change your office space. Well, the giant way. chasm is a defensive measure. Oh, you're yeah. walking as this is going on. Making yeah, yeah, we're, we're, like we're you get on one of the, the escalators that like clearly the, those like horizontal escalators like they have in airports that just like has staff only as you see hundreds of menials like trudging along beside while you're enjoying this uh, this escalator that's just zooming you past everyone. <laughs> Thanks. So we're walking over and I assume I look over to Pie Brain and, and we're just stopping where we are currently. And I go, are you sorry for what you did, Pilot? Why would I be sorry? It was the heat of the moment. Do you understand? It was GG. Yeah. you understand what a companion <laughs> is, Pybrain? Yes! Please like define that. it for me. Companion is a... Mm, well, it is someone that helps you and uh, is around with you. Um, uh, like, no, liking optional. Uh, companion is someone nearby you that helps you, uh, do things. Did you for a long time. your friend, Pybrain, help your companion? Um, yes. Define to me how you did. Well, we fought for the lizards to help make, um, a uh, good thing happen and not bad thing. It doesn't sound like a guy, my brain. I, I, hey, hold on a second. Now, I am very glad that Reeb is okay, but it was combat. You would have killed me with the molten beam, no doubt. I wouldn't, my brain, because you're a companion, arms. Mm. And the things you learn in the heat of battle that require friends to help you out. One of the things I feel that we can help you learn all of your machinery that make drives you is to how to better work with your friends. Now I ask again, and I look down at the chasm of the burning furnace below us <laughs> as I'm carrying pie brain. And you, you come around the area to to this section that is very clearly like covered in covered in wall like wall plaques that have corkboard and like conspiracy <laughs> webs and purity seals all over them and the glow of the furnaces is just coming from like and illuminating the area mm -hmm. i consider you a friend yeah and i am very disappointed actually why stop Gonna have to work together for Firebrand. I know we for are now. working. We are on a good team. You have to understand. Everyone's gonna be very suspicious of you with those actions. Why would I'm you, going what? to give you a chance, and I help sit him down where he's at, and I kind of scoot over like a box of you know scraps of stuff or whatever he can use to get his legs. You know, with his excellent tech checks. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I I will believe in you. Hopefully, Reeb can believe more into you, even after the actions you just did. But I hope that your superior, your superior forge world findings will allow you to learn exactly how to work better with this pie brain. 
questions on how to enhance companionship. But I walk away with you guys all the time. It was just the one time when I shot him in the head. We can't have a repeat of that. Well, I'm not going to shoot him in the head for no reason. He set me on fire on the bridge. (laughs) And you didn't have a conversation with him about that. Give me a will uh, check, please. Will power check. Boom. Pie. Ah. Do, 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 do. Alrighty then. Here we go. That was way too many dice. It should only be four. Um, like, damn, you're. That, yeah, my willpower is not willpower. Set. No, I think that's from uh, when it was bumped up with uh, oh. Lori at one point. Um, if we're going by the first four, then it would be two, four. It'd be six successes. You feel that the warp it. has corrupted your roll. Fair enough. A complication. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm All right. Um, at this point, as you say this, we're going to use uh, Solar Aura's optic sensor error. You start like as as you as you talk about the bridge there's like a short and and behind behind Lauren as you're you're having this this moment you see a figure standing there um like staring at you and it appears to be like a a, a wizened old man who's who's just just looking at you uh and like where's what can only be described as like some kind of bed like like night nightwear he has an augmetic and a like thick necklace but this old man is looking at you and pointing and you're you're just like having having like these these visions that are like appearing behind Lauren as you're talking, and then they kind of startle you as they come into focus. Ah, who is the old man with the robo arm? You see, this is why we have a problem, my brain. You keep seeing things that aren't there, impulsing on things. We have to work on this. Wait, what am I seeing that is not there? There's there's nothing. Brain. Yeah, go ahead and fix yourself, and hopefully take this time to learn what you have uh, of what you've done. See, use your logic circuit. I always am using my logic circuits. As if you, if it happens again, you're gonna have to call Gamu. Yeah, what are you gonna do to Gam? What's Gamu gonna do? Hopefully, fix you. Orn will leave, closing the door, heading back and heading to the bridge wherever. And and as as Lauren leaves, you are left alone with the old man in the nightgown staring at you, Pie Brain. And uh, who are you? And the old man just raises up a single finger to his closed lips. Are you? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I point at his necklace. Ah, and uh, with that, we cut back to the bridge with uh, with Captain with Captain Zedek. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thurston. We I have a really good chat comment. Stan Uh-oh. Lee cameo. we have to get it out of the way (laughs) captain zedek you have you have arrived on the bridge lieutenant ransom stands to attention as do the crews you enter captain uh, we're underway and we're getting ready to accept our new combatants on board however we'll have to make way to leave orbit shortly after we take them on board and is this a problem? Well, we've received a summons, sir. From <laughs> Planetary Governor Zelensk has requested us, well, demanded us to return back to Fimbria Majoris. Hmm. There is a oh. cru- there is a crusade top priority mission he needs us to accomplish. Uh, what does he need us to do? It bears the seal of the Primarch, sir. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess we'll have to go back to the shitty planet with the shitty governor. Correct. But it seems important. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to Fimbria Majoris, I guess. And Ransom. Yes, sir. Get with, sir. Res with respect to the onboarding process, just, just treat him nice and make it seem like it's not a shit show. I was thinking we could just have them kill most of the tribes down there. Clean up some real estate. <laughs> I mean, I guess they can. If you cannot kill all of them, that would also be fine. I don't want to have that blood on my hands. I mean, we need the corpse starch, sir, and it's got to come from somewhere. Look, just talk to talk to the new uh, accounting team and have them budget something so we can get some more food stuff. Actually, talk to them, yes, but reach um, out sir, to the... Uh, sir, I have a, there's a problem. What do you mean there's a, yet another problem, Ransom? Well, the accounting team, sir. They haven't yes. reported in. Why haven't they reported in, Ransom? I don't know, sir. They've apparently disappeared. Of course they have. Of course they also disappeared, like the rest of the working staff on the ship. Okay, well, they're going into the corpse starch factory, so that's fine. We'll assume they're dead, too. Very good, sir. Find, a, find another team who is competent enough to re at least read and do basic math, and then have them learn accounting, and make them learn accounting if they want to live. Well, well, sir, there's, there's, there's another option. Which is? Well, sir, the child. We are not teaching him to be an accountant. I would spare him of worse fate than death than to be an accountant. Understood, sir. Uh, we cut back to, to Reeb in the medical bay, having rushed back in. Oh, thank goodness. I did unplug that. Good. Good. Ah, he's going to lightly... And there's, like, the, the sounds of just your machinery, like, the kind of, like, chimes and pneumatic hisses making it very calm in here. Ah, good, good, good. He's going to slap the side of the, uh, the medical station that the tech priest is interred into. Good, good, good. I thought I forgot about that, but no, I'm not incompetent. I didn't forget. I'm just too competent and I forgot about it. That's the real problem. Anyway. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. You would never forget about anything. Now would you, Reeb Van Horn? Reeb is going to look up for a moment and turn towards the source of the noise. Stepping out from a side room enters a figure you recognize. A figure bedecked in metal armor with an overcoat, a hooded overcoat made of fine leathers. In one hand, he carries a, a spiked mace, and in the other, a, an immense shield dangling with Xeno skulls. You recognize the interrogator subordinate of your Inquisitor. Interrogator Landon. Agent Rip Van Horn, it has been some time. Well, hello, Landon. It has been some time, hasn't it? I guess it has. I have come to check in on you and your companions. Inquisitor Harlan is very interested in what has transpired with you. Interested how, Landon? Some of the recent events. There are some interesting discrepancies we wish to discuss with you. Could you assemble your team for me? Indeed. Give me just a moment, Landon. That is good. I will be waiting in the cargo room for you. Bay 12, please. I have prepared it. Very good. I'll be there shortly. Oh, black tea, yes? Yes, please. And I shall be enjoying some of the music as well. Please bring a vox player. Sounds good. Same as before? I have procured new media to listen to. And with that, Interrogator Landon steps out of the room, heavy footfalls booming, 
as I said, all of them. I have words I wish to exchange with you and your companions. And then clangs off. And with that, let's uh, let's take our break, shall we? Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Break time, break time. Break time, break, break time. time. We're break, gonna take break, a break, 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 we'll break, see break, you break, in 10 break, minutes. Break, 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 break time, time, break time. Break time, break time. Break time, break time. Ten, ten minutes, break time. Ten minutes. Yu-Yu cards, go. Ooh. Trap hole, very funny, very funny card. Fallen hole, die. Red eyes, Trap black hole. dragon, because he's the underdog. Right leg of the forbidden one. Oh, fuck hey. you. Uh, <laughs> volcanic tomb fire. Oh, oh, I like the skull servants because I like that the tiny guys get bigger. And the it, was, it was either trap hole or regeki break because regeki break is insanely funny. And that's why Vex deck is a skull servant deck if you look very closely. I think there was a. It was a. Uh, I think you should guess. I can't remember his name. He did that entire skit where it was just like random Yu Gi Oh cards, with just random bullshit coming out of them. And I'm sitting here going, I wonder if it exists. And a lot of them are pretty fucking accurate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, they're, they're, your choices were no Frog the Jam, but. Frog the Jam, stinky. No. <laughs> well, we are back. Welcome back, everybody, to Warham. We took ourselves. Thurston. I think we're getting bullied. I believe uh, we are going to cut ahead to Reeb. You have summoned the group together. Yes, uh, he, he summoned everyone to a ready chamber just outside of the Cargo Bay 12. Okay. And they will also see him carrying the tea tray. Absolutely. So, yeah, so so the three of you, uh, pi, Limping Pie Brain, uh, Captain Zedek, and Lorne are are all uh, like sitting in this ready room, watching as Reeb approaches with a full tea tray. Uh, ooh, it's got it's got little cakes on it. It's got little like the, the funny little corpse sandwiches, but they're cut very small, like you could hold them with your thumb and your pinky, or your thumb and your index finger, not your pinky. That'd be weird. Reeb, how nice! What's the what's the occasion? <clears throat> I thought you wanted to kill us, like. 15 minutes ago. No, right now I need you to all be very cordial because the gentleman in this room could very easily... By the way, he outranks me, so please do me a favor and show a bit of deference. If you don't mind, Pi. What? Are you, are you going to start criticizing me too? No, I'm going to show you a great deal of respect at this moment because if you don't show this fellow respect, we will all be off this ship very quickly. Mm. Well, that is a very compelling point. And I I don't got any beef with the Inquisition. They are pretty cool. Very good. We will uh, activate the door and it will open up revealing Cargo Bay 12. What are we looking at, Thurston? You are looking at a, a set of cargo escalators and in which stands illuminated by lumens interrogator Landon who is still bedecked in full battle regalia around you can see that there is uh, set up on a a small wooden table what appears to be a a musical recording device and a single couch has been brought in here a couch that is of higher quality than anything you have seen on the debt collector before Uh, its spaciousness easily allows for all four of you to sit on it Oh, Landon, not that couch, please. I like this couch. It is a comfortable couch for talking. Yes. Welcome. Come, sit on my couch. Wait, Landon? Landon? I fell if it isn't Lorne Barnes. We meet again. Landon, you son of a bitch. Are they making you push pencils again? And I swole, Lauren, and we both clapped hands like it's a predator. Yeah, there's the the, the Arnold, like, predator thing. (laughs) Ah, you rat bastard, how have you been? It's been a while since we were in the shit out on the eastern fringe with those bugs. Oh, absolutely. It's a real shame of that space marine chapter, though. The, the Ursa fuckers or something, some knockoff stupid bastards. Basically, I think a lot of them got their ass whooped, but goddamn, we got a lot of them out, though. 
That's right, and you riding that bear, I'll never forget it. The the stars they twinkled down on me as I watched my uh, my my internals bleeding out, and then you came on that bear, which was also on fire at the time, as I recall. I did set it on fire for intimidation factor, but it didn't work out. But boy, I'm glad to see you. How have you been, home skeleton? I sit on the couch. I am very good, but I come here with some some strong opinions. I need to discuss the things that have been going on. There has been a lot of chicanery that has been reported through the Crusades to Inquisitor Harlan, and she requires certain updates on this situation. Ah. Uh. So oh. We'll set his trade down and begin pouring tea. Landon first, then the. Uh, by the way, how is Pi? Like, is Pi hopping or is like Pi with Captain Zedek again? Pi has had to hop to this place from the other end of the ship after being deposited and jump the chasm <laughs> by himself uh, while ignoring the ghost old man. Reeve is, is at least lightly shocked that Landon knows Lorne, but then again, who Landon knows is not his business, so he's just like, eh, well, that's another thing to keep in mind, I guess. Captain Zedek! Captain Zedek, throughout that entire ordeal, was again just looking at this strange display of, yet again, Lorne knowing something, or something new about Lorne that he had no idea nor ever expected of him thinking about making a comment and then just kind of walks over and sits on the couch wordlessly. Not a man of many words, Captain. Well, not in this circumstance. I just, I didn't expect Lorne to have been some kind of war hero. He never really talks about that kind of thing. He and Lorne has seen much, but your lack of words does not surprise me, given the brevity of your documentation to the crusade of all of your crusade host you are the ambassador with the most substandard of follow-up reports to catch a van nord reeb's going to furrow his brow and look at that yeah that that kind of tracks you should really actually no i'm not gonna dig myself into a deeper hole with this one yeah we've kind of been lost with a lot of things that have been on the ship Things tend to keep going awry with bad things and bad people. Then how do you have time to write this? And he reaches into his uh, cloak and tosses a book that skids across the ground, stopping right in front of all of you. Mm. It oh, reads, for fuck's sake, Love and Death, God, Captain Zenith romance novel. <laughs> oh, it's <Dude>. out? <laughs> <laughs> In truth, uh, for the for the record, folks, because uh, you can't see this because of how this is formatted on the thing, the handout given to us just now is prescribed heretical text. Yes, that is the <laughs> title of the handout. So I didn't write that. I kind of kind of was a dick on this one, and there was a ghost writer. I also, interestingly enough. Do not remember asking anybody to write this. So your guess is as good as mine, Interrogator Landon. Ghost Rider, your Where name's did you right find on that? It. Yeah, I know. I didn't publish it. They fucking oh. <laughs> your signature is on the first page. There's a sense rattlings who copy my signature. I see this will be a difficult interrogation. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the, the the novel later, but let's cover more pressing matters at hand. You are correct. It is time we start with your crusade antics from the beginning. And I'm Pybrain. Ah, yes. The Skitari. No. Yes, yes. No, I am a explorator from the Forge World of Lemuria. I was promoted to aid with the Crusade and to become a part of the Officio Ambassadorum. I have been giving multiple reports, actually, and I hope that they have been found of subsequent and are, of course, a necessary detail. I have also begun to uncover what I believe to be some sort of conspiracy amidst a rival member of the Officio uh, Ambassadorum, and I'm very glad you are here so we can discuss it. Well, we will be getting to that. Oh, yes. Can Reeb guide him to the couch? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just hopping as I'm telling oh, this. <laughs> yeah. So all four of you are now sitting on the couch opposite Landon. Everyone has teacups. There are five teacups. If you'll excuse me, I was, I, I always enjoy some music to accompany these interrogations. I prefer the ancient styles of the audioists of old Terra. Please. I shall begin with the music of Aikaira Yamaokiya entitled Quiet Hill, and we shall go from here. Now, as he like plays the music, now we shall begin with the situation on Fathom 4. Who would like to start what happened on that world? Captain Zedek will raise his hand. Ah, good, you do talk. I do. So with Fathom 4, we initially went down there to requisition some supplies and manpower for the Crusade, and we were given an optional task of procuring some gourmands to provide culinary services to Katja Van Nord. And it turns out that among the population of the planet being largely incompetent, there was also a contingent of Imperial ambassadors as well that had ingratiated themselves among the native population and began steering them in rather untoward directions, uh, indulging in Redolence, excess, uh, heretical worship of a non-venerated individual. And also they murdered somebody else, but I think we're working on fixing her. So we slew them in the name of the Emperor, of course, and recruited what remained of the loyal population. Well, at least some of them anyway, and acquired manpower and resources for the crusade. I see. Do any of the rest of you have anything to add to this situation? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Oh, please, by all means, elucidate me. Okay. So, as we were getting there and doing all of the things that he said, right, we discovered that, yeah, yeah sure, many of the ruling class of that planet were crazy people who were bad, and we got rid of them. But what really happened is, once we dealt with that, a man by the name of Slyburgo de Fuckerby, uh, designated in my reports primarily as Target Prim Primaris Extermination Protocol, Slyburgo de Fuckerby, etc., etc. Well, he used some kind of strange psychic power that we have suspicion might have been enhanced by some kind of xenotechnological devices that allowed him to make the population of Fathom Four go berserk. And in a bloodthirsty, cannibalistic rage, many of them attempted to kill us, causing catastrophic damage across the planet. We later achieved records that indicated that it was indeed Slyburgo de Fuckerby who is responsible for this. Yes, that would match. So there are some interesting points to follow up on. Unless, uh, Reeb or my old friend Lon, you have anything to add to the uh, situation with the rattling population. Ah, they got it. No, well, I believe that is a remarkably, uh, that is a wide coverage of information from people. I'm actually surprised you all took notes that deep on that. But thank you anyway. Saved me from having to do it. Very good. Now I have immediately two things to follow up on. Well, no, three things, I believe. The first of which is the status of the tech priest Lady Reap. She has been in this vessel for some number of months now. Is that correct? That is correct. How long do you intend to keep her in stasis? Until the... Well, until her medical condition stabilizes. At the moment, it does not appear... I must uh, inform you, Landon, the condition in which we found her in was, well, deceased for several hours. Yes. It's not days. The medical procedures you utilize to revitalize her would be viewed as unnatural. Yes, I suppose they would, Landon. Tell I me, will be is, keeping is that, an eye on that one. Is is that what she told she told you to tell me? Because she loved to use that word whenever I did anything back home. She wished me to use that exact term with you. Yes. <sighs> 
Now then, carrying on, there is the Lord of Science who you managed to extricate from the planet's surface. Yes, correct. It appears that afterwards you put her in the custody of Katja Van Nord. Is that correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Have you since had any follow-up contact with the one known as the Divine Lord of Science? I put in a petition to do so, but heard nothing back. I see. And you have had no reports of her continuing her medical experiments? Not to my knowledge, no. Very good. And then this is filling up my report docket on this first mission of yours. Very good, very good. Um, Captain Zedek, uh, would you like to give me some kind of social skill, given your, your succinct summary, uh, in an attempt to influence the interrogator? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Some kind of social skill. Uh, I'll say leadership, I suppose. Or Absolutely. Maybe... All right. Or persuasion, like your or choice. Persuasion. I mean, either one. I have an equal amount of skill on them, so I think it's fine. But yeah, let's do a let's do a persuasion then. I feel like that one will roll worse. It's a five. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. This sums up my uh, my report on the, the rattling planet. Now we will get to you, Mr. Pie Brain, your situation of the one Slayer Burger to Fuckerby. However, there is another story I wish to hear. I believe your next events took you to the world of Scargaris. Is that correct? Uh, regrettably, yes. <laughs> Uh, I think so. What do you remember of that place? I'll take the reins on this one, if you don't mind. Sure. We were sent to the world of Scargaris, a world that previously provided mineral in well minerals. Uh, the planet, I believe, was a mining world. In addition to general production at that site as well, there was a Adeptus Mechanicus site there, and they were utilizing... Rather old technology at the time, I believe. We were there to inquire as to their status and whether or not they could provide, well, resources to the Crusade. And after we went there, we determined that they were... They were apparently sending individuals who were inquiring as to tithes to the abandoned Adeptus Mechanicus location on the moon of Scargaris. In that facility, there were a number of defensive measures that were active that actively destroyed any of the... Well, pursuers, officio, administratum, etc. Yes. Continue. In doing so, we determined that they had been doing this, and we managed to disable the defense system that was on that facility, in addition to discovering a space marine which was in stasis on board that, sh that station. And what did you find, sir? Well... In so doing, we determined there was a great deal of lost technology, old, Dark Age equivalent. Very old technology. We made sure to keep a track of that so we could submit that as, well, further resources for the Crusade as necessary. But the Space Marine in question informed us that a pitched battle had raged over Scargaris as well as over the moon and that the victors were, in fact, malign forces, ones not aligned with the Imperium. And so we used the resources of the Crusade to regain control of Scargaris. Yes, have you since followed up on the planet? We have not. And do any of you have anything to add to that? I recall that we transferred that space marine to Kachev and Nod, is that correct? Yes. I, I he gave him a replacement limb after it was removed entirely from his body. Mm -hmm. Right. And then after we killed all of the very funny goblins that ran the planet, I was under the impression that it was now under the jurisdiction of the larger crusade forces. He received many points for this. Landon's masked face nods, and behind the iron face you see the sort of organic twitching of eyes as they move side to side and look over all of you. Yes. And Lon. Huh? 
I heard you did something totally badass during the space fight there. Is that true? Oh, yeah. I turned a giant warhead shell around and threw it back. Yeah, it was pretty cool, I can attest. Pretty that baller. is very metal, my friend. Not quite the flaming bear, but pretty metal. Totally, ra totally radical, dude. Very good. Now, it may behoove you to know that the Space Marine is since joined the, the retinue of the Inquisition, becoming a, a servant of the staff that are now investigating and researching the Luna Station of Todius. Uh, can, I, can I do a scholar check? What the hell is Todius? Yeah, give me a scholar check. Okay. Uh, I do not have any bonuses applying to that. Just give me a 10. Uh, yeah. Todius, like, with a 10, there's nothing in the system called Todius. You'd know this. Okay, but what does that name ring any bells at all? Or no, none. Like, like, absolutely no bells. Landon. But he is, Landon is just using it casually. Yeah, go ahead. What is Todius? Ah, that is true. You have not followed up. Skagaris has been renamed to Todius in lieu of the new government. Ah, now I understand. What is the new government? The... I believe they now call themselves the Highest Toads. Yeah, that sounds pretty dumb. Okay. Those individuals who we found in the lower decks, Pi. <laughs> Oh, that means okay. To? I take it back. It's very smart, actually. Does Lauren like have a, like a little tear in his eye? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of my boys. Mm, that's right. I forgot. Once a toad, always a toad. <laughs> Lauren like shows his lower toad's tattoo. <laughs> 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 my God. <laughs> yeah, Pi shows his now blood stained lo like lower toad sticker. <laughs> very good. Mm. All right. Then after that, some stuff happened, and then you went to a prison. Is that correct? Wait, you're forgetting about Shady Rock. I said some stuff happened, and then you went to a prison, correct? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, some things did happen, and then we did wind up in a prison, yes. So who wishes to tell me about the prison? Uh, um... Well, I arrived. Basically, when I arrived, they basically chained me like, up to up from the head to the toe. Got really pissed off about it, and I fired basically like a million molten beams everywhere in a spiral pattern. And then, and then it was like a bunch of red then, and it felt like I was like destroying a bunch of people, ripping them in half. And then I was uh, locked away. But then I went on like a weird rampage. It was very odd. Yeah, uh, he, he was in prison for like four hours and then got super buff. Oh, yeah, I got totally ripped. That is some of that Fenrisian DNA in you. I hear that just happens with your people sometimes. No, I don't believe that at all. <laughs> <laughs> does, does anyone else have a more succinct description of, of the prison? Yeah, I do. Yes, Go yes. Ahead. Okay, so we get there, and the judge there is like, oh, he sounds very dumb. And so we talk to the dumb guy, and we're trying to find uh, Rohekta, who was a survivor of Shady Rock that Slybergo stole. And I mean, honestly, Slybergo, it's his fault for everything, honestly. And so, right, after we dealt with that, we went down to go get him because the judge man told us to do that. And then he closed all the doors, got paranoid, started yelling about his family jewels, and he pumped poison sleeping gas into the chamber to knock everyone out. I was barely able to escape the magnet trap, and we posed a daring jailbreak. After being able to release everyone and causing a prison riot, retrieving Ro Hector and finding out what the hell is going on, including fighting a man who referred to himself as the big bitch, we then were able to get to the top levels only to be attacked by Dark Eldar. 
They stole the judge and seemed to have been looking for something. And, uh, and then we killed them, and the rest of them ran away, and uh, then we secured the citadel. If I may I? From okay. Here? Yes, what he said is correct. The Drakari did engage the station after a period, taking on the entirety of the uh, Arbitrator Force station there. They were certainly a threat, however, I believe there was something interesting regarding the Arbitrator. I would make a separate note of this, Landon, if you don't mind. Of course, you may proceed. What is it you would like to state? This is an accusation, however, in addition to Slybergo de Fuckerby's strange powers, of which I do not believe possible by any normal man, there were some questionable things the judge informed us of. Namely, an object which he owned, which we never got a look at. He referred to it as a family jewel, and apparently it had been passed down in his family for some time or he'd come into possession of it, we were unable to determine what from him before he was captured. But from what he described, it provided him with an exceptional amount of, well, good fortune. And, well, there is no fortune other than what the Emperor provides to you. So it would be very curious that this object was reobtained by Slybergo de Fuckerby. Indeed so. It is likely that the object in question is of either malign or xenos origin, which is necessitating our pursuit of Mr. DeFuckerby. I see. And so from this, you have now engaged in vendetta against this person. A vendetta is a strong word. We are merely doing what is asked of a standard inquisitor. Even an acolyte such as myself can see that. Lorne. Eh? What do you think of the Fuckerby? The Fuckerby. Would you describe it as vendetta? The de Fuckerby! And I. That's all he says. Um, Terrific. Lorne is a very emotional man, but I assure you there is more than us just being. Dad, I otherwise, like, I'm inconvenienced by this guy. He's been doing some really bad things. And, and there's been so many threads leading back to him. For instance, when we were in this system, we went on a ship and it had uh, been completely destabilized. Uh -huh. You are getting ahead of the story. Okay, fine, but let me bring us back to the prison planet, where there was this chamber that was filled with a hallucinatory cathedral that was led by someone from Shady Rock, one of the places that we knew De Fuckerby had gone to, and there was a strange sort of aura around it that, that no one questioned, and it was very clearly part of a great conspiracy, and I hope you're really, really concerned about it. Give me a willpower test, Pi. Sure thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, let's go! I believe, Rumor. I believe, I believe, I believe. You believe I'm going bad. to re-roll with a graph. Okay. I'm going to re-roll two dice. Ah, well, three will have to suffice. Three on four dice, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah. For the rest of you, everything Pi said... Uh, sorry, to Reeb and uh, Captain Zedek, everything Pi said just came out as, like, gibberish, like, binaric gibberish. Lauren, you heard and understood <laughs> everything that Pi said, but Zedek and Reeb, you just heard... <laughs> like, modem sounds. Hi. Hi. What? You dipped into binary. No, I didn't. I was speaking completely normal Gothic. Let me repeat. There was a giant floating... <laughs> <laughs> oh, do it Gothic. again! Stop no, I... I... What do you mean? I, had... I mean, I, I understood him. Lauren, Lauren you, you understand translate? everything. Lauren, oh, wow. please translate what he's saying so that Lyndon may understand. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So it all basically started out when it's 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 and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I see. What? Landon's eyes just sort of like dart over all of you. So then, after the situation in the wait, prison, repeat what I just said to you, metal man, sir. I. I that think we guy. can move on. Wait, no, what did I say? 
there was some events that happened on Shady Rock. Let's move ahead. Wait, no! That's Shady... Uh, this reminds me of the billboard! Hi. One second. I reached behind the couch to find the giant poster board that I had that one time. Where did you get that? I made it! Put it back. No, I made it! Put it back right now. Fine, but I'll take it out when it becomes more relevant to that story. Please do! Okay. Interrogator Landon, I, as much as I don't want to agree with our dial-up companion here, there is some discrepancy over Shady Rock that I think is being overlooked. Chiefly the fact that no one can seem to remember it, almost as if our memories of the entire incident were wiped clean. But it has some integral bearing upon everything that has happened since. Why are you so... If Of course, pardon my... Uh, <laughs> Pardon my intrusion, or rather, a deference to your authority, but why are we just glazing over that? Zoran, mark mm -hmm. me down a rune point. Okay. You're marked. So then, after the prison, what happened? <sighs> Reed, Reed knows what he just did, so he's going to just <laughs> move on. Gentlemen, let's tell him what happened after Shady... After, uh, after the space station prison planet, shall oh, we? Oh, he just ignored. Are you in on it? You you feel this comp like pie? There is something that just pushes you now to move on from Shady Rock. I know that all you want to do is not talk about Shady Rock, so let's not talk about it. What are we talking about? I just imagine we're all looking at pie ring, just basically going like, "What happened after Shady Rock? Yeah, what, what happened, happened after <laughs> Shady Rock? It would be a good idea to move on." What happened? So, GM, real quick, because it was a little mm -hmm. bit of a gap. What did we do after Shady? What did we do after uh, the space station? Uh, you you returned back, and then that was when you were assigned to the Fimbria system. Right, and then we went. Okay, so that was the uh, the USS Norm people and the weird conspiracy to kill the planetary governor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Captain, I believe you can regale our good friend Landon here with the. Tales of Fimbria 4. Oh, fuck yeah, I sure can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking about that's just really got me. Landon, your, Landon, your tea is getting cold. I would take some while it's hot. So after... Like, it's the most awkward drinking, by the way, because of his, like, metal <laughs> face mask. Like, it's just, like... And of course, because it's, like, actual black tea, like, there's just these black streaks that go on down the mouth of the mask. Oh, wow, God. that is... Fucking terrifying. Correct. So, uh, did we? Yeah, just after the whole uh, Xenos invasion, that was that was a real fucking trip, one, wasn't it? Uh, we arrived on Fembria Majoris to respond to Planetary Governor Zelensk's uh, calls for aid, as to investigate a cult that was growing on the planet, the cult of the Emperor's Reign, Emperor's, Emperor's yeah, Liquid. The and it turns out the emperor's tears, I believe. Yes, that that was the one. That's what I was getting to. Perhaps now, having him go was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, but we're moving on. We have, have he to, shall uh, continue. He needs to make up his word quotients. That is not smart. Carry on. <laughs> so after investigating it, we were led to a water or filtration processing station for the hive, and it turns out they were planning to use that distributing, distributing station. Captain Zedek is struggling today. He does not do, do too well with big words right now. Uh, to poison the populace through this water pumping station. And we stopped them because we were attacked by a group of death cult assassins. And that was not fun. But you know what? We kind of mulched them. And they are dead. And we saved the day. And what I assume followed was a purge of any members of this cult upon Fimbria Majoris. From there, we continued following our lead on Slybergo to Fuckerby uh, to, I believe it was Fimbria 2, the mining colony. You and are skipping something, Captain. Of course I'm skipping something. There's a lot of things I forget. What am I skipping? <laughs> oh, right. Oh, yes. The, the fun times. Fun times on derelict ships. I was hoping to have drank that memory away. You see, I have just finished that report and... <laughs> 
He blend and pulls out a data slate. I finished the write-up. Reeb's very detailed. It was what I read once I entered the system. I aspire to many of the great old dramaturges. I prefer the pictodramaturge Gungai Ito. And in his words, he slaps the data pad down on the table. That ship was made for you. Hmm. What do you mean? The ship was... No, that ship was not designed for any of us. Unless it was a trap, in which case it was explicitly designed for us. I mean, certainly, he... That ship seemed to be perfectly placed to challenge your skills. It does seem a bit uncanny that we would have to navigate the nightmare of the Carillon. Yes. And it's just kind of there. Reeb, how much did you tell him about the Carillon? I told him everything. Cool. Like, you need yeah. to understand, I have to tell them everything, as is the... It's what I do. Zedek, I, I you're actually looking a little bit incredulous at this point. I'm an inquisitor, Zedek. Do you think I'm just going to hide things from my co-workers? Zedek searching his knowledge banks for any remembrance of Inquisitors, just hiding things from other people. From other Inquisitors, not from people, from an other Inquisitors. Your memory banks? Yes, my flesh, my fleshy memory banks, I call an adult brain. Uh -huh. Someday we'll improve them. No, we won't. Mm. Yeah, so that ship was awful. Uh, I, I'm glad it was destroyed. Lon. You are the most psychically attuned of this group, obviously. Ah, shit. What did you find on that ship? A lot of bad stuff, man. A lot of bad juju. I'll lay it down for you. First we came in that ship, bunch of dead babies. A lot of dead babies with wings on them. Didn't like it one bit. Then there was a whole bunch of just taken over individuals all along that ship. And we also, in the, written, I think you put in a report that we found dead Eldar. Correct. Yes, the answer was that. And then there was a ginormous chaos spawn. The answer was quiet. And then there was a recording. I think we sent that off too, right? Correct. I made a copy. Yes, yes. Recording of Fucker Bear fucking with the previous occupants of that ship. Yes, I believe it was when Slaburgo de Fakabe left the, the prison complex, he chartered the Carillon to bring him to this system. Yeah. But after they arrived in the system, he departed, but left a suggestion of some kind for the captain to initiate warp translation without the Geller field. Yeah. Correct. Very damning evidence you find here. And stuff uh, keeps piling up against this individual. Correct. I would say so, Landon. May I ask a question of you, if you don't mind me interrogating the interrogator for a moment? Of course. We are surely, all friends here. Surely this information would be suitable enough for us to continue our pursuit of Defucker, but yes. You misunderstand my presence here, friend. Oh? This evidence should be enough to have a whole subsector fleet chasing this man down, and yet the only ones who are doing it right now are you on your own. So why is that? Uh, well, Landon... I'm going to be completely honest with you. We have tried bringing these items to the attention of the Crusade fleet. However, with whoever our leaders of that crusade are, they have not given us extra resources to go after them. Fact is, we have Captain Zedek's ship here, the Debt Collector, and whatever forces we can scrape together to go after him. We have done what we can with the resources we are afforded. Simple fact is, we've been put off many times to find more and more evidence, which we find, routinely, in the wake of this man, and yet we are the only ones after him at the moment. Does that not sound strange to you? A little bit. So what reason would the Crusade, nigh the Imperium, have for not 
chasing this man down for what he has done, what you have reported, what you have evidence of? That is a good question, Landon. However, I find that finding him would be more important than why we're not being helped. Might I ask another question? This is from Inquisitor Harlan herself. Yeah. And he op- uh, well, he does he doesn't open his mouth because he has a mask on, but words come out. I need all of you to give me a willpower test right now. Uh-oh. Oh. Dun dun dun. dun. Can Robert I be excused? Power. I have a doctor's note. Give me a one. I I'll get a glory. two to glory. I will re-roll with wrath because it's important. To Wait, me. no, you you don't need. Oh, to no, no, you've got a five. I, got re-roll right. my I, roll. I saw your roll. I thought it was my roll. Okay, I got a five. I'm going good. Uh, if I'm, I've got one wrath left. I'll wait on that. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Little I think one. it's five. Zedek, are you uh, are you gonna re-roll? <laughs> Lauren's gonna, gonna get a two. <laughs> yeah, Lauren's gonna re-roll. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna six. Lauren's gonna re-roll. succeed. Yeah, okay. Three dice. Okay. Wow. Right, so it's Damn. only me that it's seven only, and two more glory. It is only me that fails. So yeah, you hear again the wob 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 wob. And then the rest of you hear. What is your association with Inquisitor Lord Melchior? Oh Inquisitor Lord Melchior? Yes! I know him! He is in the <laughs> Captain! Captain! <laughs> He's here! I saw him in my room earlier! <laughs> Captain! Captain! This is Lieutenant Ransom! Are you there? I'm coming through one of the box relays in the room! <laughs> uh, Captain Zedek will look over to Interior Landon and just kind of motion like, can I, can I take that call? A, a hand, a free, his free hand waves you on. Captain Zedek will go over to the box unit. Yes, Lieutenant Ransom, what's going on? Uh, sir, there is there is a problem. What? what what's well, the problem? Well, the Trellians, they've, they've gone down and they've, they've begun the operation, sir. And what's the problem? The problem is, is there's, there's an issue with the septic system, sir. Again? Uh, it's real bad, sir. Mm, I don't want to go down the poop swamp again. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, it's oh. it's back. It's backing up. It's it's the same generator you you and your companions explored a couple months back. Oh, mm, don't like that. Don't like that at all. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll get on that as soon as we're done being interrogated. And can, can we make can, them do it? There, I I think they're going to die if they do that. There's 5,000 of them. Yeah, they can figure that out. What is going on? <laughs> well, well, uh, the, uh, the poop pipe to the crap swamp's backed up again, and it's starting to <laughs> stink up the ship. So yeah. we're going to have to go fix that again. We have a really it's... incompetent tech priest on board. Wait! I'm not even going to can, dignify that with a response a because she's the one? only one keeping this together. <laughs> oh, damn it. Landon, I'll keep, I'll keep it blunt with you. These are one of the many problems we face basically doing this ourselves as we have a lot of issues aboard the ship. I, yeah, I, yes, it appears that this is one of the side stories that I did not capture in my, my overview of your exploits thus far. It'd be like that sometimes. We believed it to be unnecessary, wouldn't you agree? Do you think I need to give you the constant ummings and errings over how we traverse a sewage system? Hi. About Melchior. If if it is a if it is an important situation, I can come with you if you require the extra assistance. Yeah. Captain, do we need to do something about it, or do you have it handled? We're going to have to do something about it, I feel. Oh, damn it. Mm. How long is this interrogation going to take? Because we could just finish it and then go down. I'm sure we won't lose too many people. I think... To lose too many people? Do people die when this happens on your ship? Routinely. It, it happened the last time, because, again, something happened down there. Which... Captain Zedek will just kind of stare off, like, 
thousand like uh you know that one flashbacks like fortunate sons playing as we focus on your eyes it's like that that image of lisa simpson kind of staring down with a half grin but definitely thousand yards staring just like remembering what happened and trying to suppress it people died but we did it we took care of it well hmm i think I think I wish to see what is going on in your your sewage system. Wait, but what about Melchior? I know where he is. What? Yeah. Didn't we return him? No, I, f I saw him in my room earlier. I almost didn't recognize him because we found him on Shady Rock so long ago. He's yes. still damaged. Uh Reed, was... you're just getting a big headache from this. Like, you're understanding the words, but it is pounding at your skull. Yeah. Like, like he was standing there, and when Lorne was telling me that it's not good to shoot creep, long story, we'll get to it later. It's, I was a big problem, and then he was just there, and then everyone acted like I didn't see him, but he was there, I can tell you. I, I can, you can look into my cogitator and find the records. And he, I looked at him, I said, what are you doing here? And he said, shh, everyone told me to meet up here, and I had to walk back here. Hi, can you stop saying gibberish? I'm not saying gibberish. Why are you always bullying me? It sounds like you're saying gibberish. Lorne oh, Barnes, okay. my friend. What's up, did, home did you, did you see, did you see this? No. Lying to the Inquisition is a grave offense, Skitano. I did not lie to you! I don't care what you do, I can prove it! Well? I am a tech priest of Lemuria! I do not lie! I do my duty! Perhaps we can continue this discussion later. For now, uh, Captain, if you can lead us to your sewage situation. I wish to see what exactly is brewing in your undership. Of course, my good man in the Iron Mask. I just hope you have some sort of incense below that faceplate because it is not going to be pleasant. Lead the way, Captain. Of course. <sighs> captain Zedek will get up and begin leading the party down to the Hold, hold on. I need a new leg. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Did yeah. I leave you in a room to fix it? Yeah, and then you immediately got called back. I tell you what, Reeb, I'm going to borrow something from you. I, I don't really care what you do, because I can handle it if you won't. But I'm going to go. We have spares. Let's get a move on. Yeah, I'm going to start hopping. And if we don't have spares that don't have the Lemurian logo on them. Or, uh, hey, can, can, we, can we get an influence check to see if we have spare limbs? We, we did this before. We do have some spare limbs. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, but we need to check it again. Uh, don't make mm -hmm. me roll influence for this. I already lost two wealth. <laughs> I know you're gonna have to make an influence check. Fuck! Hurry up! Hurry up! That's wallet. Right. <laughs> Rude. Oh no! Zedek is the wallet of this game too. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a four and a, gl and a and yeah, just a four. That's all you get. Just a four, which is enough to mean you have you have synthetic limbs on hand. All right, I'm gonna quickly do that funny thing that I do, which is Medicaid. Um, so, so like, why are we going to the medical lab? Oh, because you have to append a, a graft. I see. Yes, his leg is broken. I was leaving it off as a punishment for his actions on a previous situation, but now we need him, so I'm going to fix it. Mm, it was not fair, and it, I don't... We were gonna have a talk about that. We still are. Just mm -hmm. not right now. Yes. For now, I will forgive your bad behavior. And I will have to forgive you <laughs> shooting with a plasma weapon. Okay, I now. hit pie upside the head with my staff. <laughs> Give me the Medicaid. Oh, no, Thank it's a you. three. Oh, should I re-roll it? <laughs> I don't think oh, that, that, that red point roll. might be really hey, useful. Chat. Hey, chat, should I re-roll this? Oh, Hi. No. No. Can I press I this know, button re-roll it into a four? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Chad's saying no. I already re-rolled it. It wasn't better. It was a four. It was better. Four um, is good. <laughs> he, see, Pi's not gonna like this. Captain Zedek could assist Reeve. 
the 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 augmetic of course that goes on that replaces the lovely metal leg is clearly like a flesh based leg. <laughs> now this is unacceptable. Deal with it. It's all we have right now. Oh my god! If we need a spell, I'll go visit. I'll go visit Gamu or something. Later. No, you won't. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna walk up to the tech priest in the pod. She's not using that. You are not taking her legs. What? It's just a leg. We reuse body parts all the time. She is in critical condition enough as it is without you taking her apart like a used car. Now, that's just how it works. When I got my arm lopped off the first time, I had to borrow my friends. Stop cannibalizing people. I'm, not... thinking, of, I'm thinking of Pi in like a hospital setting like, with a broken arm. And he's like, hmm. I need an immediate solution to this, so I'm going to go to the ICU and dismember someone in a fucking coma and just put it on. <laughs> no, oh, you don't I understand. understand. You don't understand. That's what Skatari do. I yeah. don't understand. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> Reeve also, Reeve also doesn't get that. So it's he's really just like, funny. Oh. It's really funny. <laughs> he has a fucking shopping cart in the hospital, and it's like do 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 as he's grabbing limbs. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna. She'll understand. Stand. She's in the cult mechanic. Is I'm gonna make a tech check and unscrew this leg. Oh, you better not. <laughs> no, no, no. P -P -P you make a tech check. Two. I make a molten beam attack. If, Can we not kill each other the second time? If I have a flesh leg in the sewer, then it might disintegrate. So we'll what? Get, we'll get you another one. It's I a put, stop gap pie. I put a hand on Pie's shoulder and I go and Pie Brain. That is a risk I'm willing to take, and we, I push him <laughs> out. You this people guy, don't this know guy anything about the Pod Messiah. You don't know. You don't even care. <laughs> I do. And this care, is what you I... deal with all the time, Reeb. In oh, this is only a small fraction of it. I see. <sighs> well then. Now that we have the leg on your friend, perhaps we can continue on? Yes. yes. Why don't we move on now? I'm going to bring a spare leg. Just what? in case. I don't trust the flesh. Oh, I'll, I'll let him take it. Like, he can have as many spares as he... Have, like, five spares. Wait, wait, yeah, if he, he have wait, five wait, wait, legs wait. on if my he, back. If he already has a flesh leg now, why not just replace your flesh leg with a random spare leg if we're going to allow it? They're all flesh. Oh. Yeah, I got a bunch of fake flesh, like, alien kind of, like, you know, like, artificial vat-grown protein legs. Wait, look, Pat, look, if you're gonna Listen, bitch you about the leg... Going to no, you to listen accept. to me this time! If you're gonna bitch uh -huh. about the leg the entire time, I'll give you a fucking metal pig leg! How's that sound? Uh, that would be preferable, but for now, we don't have enough time. We are just going to have to accept this situation, and my legs... I want to make a narrative declaration. Yes. Okay. I want to use psychic mastery to rip his fucking leg off, grab the nearest servitor who has a who has a metal broom, <laughs> and literally just like tear off his leg, take the metal like shaft bit of that, and just shove it in the pie's leg. You know, oh in, my god, it. Thurston never lets me use psychic mastery for any checks. Please go ahead and make a psychic mastery for this check. Excellent. So you can no longer complain about the flesh is weak. It is. I believe. I got a five. It's not quite good enough. Our uh, big skills are missing a little bit too much today. This is hurting. Stop it. Gonna, oh, gonna, gonna wrath that, Lauren? He's wrathing it. Yeah. I can't. Oh, I thought you just did. Yeah. You just, no, I used you a just narrative decoration. <gasps> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Or you want to use two glory? Yeah, what? sure. <laughs> you complained, and I'm helping you. I'm just helping. holding you down. I'm helping you. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking of bone. It's an additional. What is happening here? There's one the more. Uh, yeah, a six is the desired number. So there's this moment where, like, the flesh leg pops off with this disgusting sound, and then, like, yeah, the metal broom just goes flying and cracks into Pi's leg. Ah! Don't oh, worry about it. They'll be along shortly, Landon. Let's just get a move on. They'll catch up. They always oh, do. Oh, don't pull my leg. This takes forever. I just hope you know that you've escalated the arms race. I'm gonna keep going. 
Pie Brain, you cannot keep hamstringing us along like this. Just take the I'm leg go and go. I I'm what's to going to? I roll ballistics on Flamer. Uh, Congratulations. You catch Dr. all Flamer. of them in the, in the line. Move We're never going to finish this campaign. <laughs> 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 we're gonna fucking murder we, each other by the end of it are we fit to move on you you That's make your way back into the sewer system um with with captain zedek leading the way uh captain zedek you come by the the same same sites you you even in fact see like old blood splatter on the wall which pie brain you recognize as your uh your survival blood from when you were last here and made us made a weapon skill check to track people um, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Memories. You're, you're walking down here. Um as 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 you continue on, you, you get the, the Vox Rebel. Captain, something something is on the generator. I don't know, it's just not working right now. You're gonna have to take a look at it. I don't wanna take a look at it, Ransom. Captain, you have to do your job once in a while. I do. That's why you still have a job. Well, good luck. And you come to the, the same area that you remember from before. Boop. And you see the you come from the, 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 the east, moving west, finding the massive sort of like engine unit in the waters and the bridges that connect them. The the engine unit here is kind of chugging, like the, the filter is actually emitting this like conk 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 sound. Oh, this bloody thing again. Yeah, we really should get a new one of these, but that's my... Reeb's gonna pull out his flamer and start torching it. That'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, just melt it. Do that. All Is right, that what we did last time? Yes. No, we oh, got oh. attacked and then we fixed it. Yeah, we fixed oh. it by flaming it the last time. Kukunk. Thurston, I wish to yeah. roll flamer on, on the uh yeah, the give engine. me a ballistic skill check. Great. Great! Uh, boom! I'll give you a seven. Cool. Uh, the the gout of flame goes and hits the side of the filtration unit, burning it. This the water around sizzles. You blacken the unit. It still seems to be emitting a kathunk, kathunk. Hmm. Bit deeper that time. I don't think that was a licensed procedure. I'm not a mechanic, am I? Ah, it worked Zedek the last will, time we were here. Captain Zedek will overcharge his arc pistol and try and shoot it to jumpstart the... Ah, no, 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 I can... I Absolutely. Can... Give, me a, give me a ballistic skill shot, Captain sure. Zedek. Here you go. It's coming. Put on your 3D glasses, bitch. It's coming to you. Oh, God. It's a three! Yeah! That'll, that'll hit. That right. strikes it. Uh, roll me damage. Okay. 16 AP minus one. There is this like whining sound as electrical bolts. And then you hear the sounds of shorting and then like turbines moving like and the water around it seems to rustle. Until. Something emerges out of the water. An immense, immense grub like figure. <laughs> bursts out of the water coiling from around the filter <laughs> as it rises out of the water <laughs> more hams also featuring the big sewer grub big big grub grub uh, so we're in combat who would like to go first I'm out in bame <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's fair yeah do it <laughs> Go Big ahead. Club. Kill. Gotta find my Come on, unbounded. Him. Destroy him. Oh, okay. So Full power. Two dice? Oh, three dice. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. No restrictions. Fire on target. Oh, okay. You'll hit. You That's can bad. shift one. Um, 18k. Very good. Very good. Uh, you smash into it. It recoils back from the force of the beam, uh, writhing in the air. Uh, however, at the same time as you do that, you also have realized that um, you have you have touched the powers of the warp, um, which, you know, 
aren't necessarily the best things to be to be mucking around with. Um, let's see here. Uh, excellent. Uh oh, spaghettios. I'm going to use this one. This one is is absolutely a new one that I'm just going to use because I really like it. It's it's entitled. What's one more? No. You have an overwhelming feeling of power, pleasure, and an emotional sense for doing so. And you hear this sweet voice in the back of your head, Lorne. Why not release more and enjoy the pleasures of your power? So you can cast either, like, you can cast another psychic power, including the same one. Okay. But you have to add another wrath dice to the test. Easy. You have to do this. Wow. All right. Not a single complication. Oh. I rolled a 12. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a bluff called. <laughs> great, great complication, Thurston. Thank you. Thanks right. for the What's complication. This? I want to so point out. I want to, first of all, that was Shepherd of Slanash. Good on you. But also, <laughs> if another complication is rolled, the, the other test is considered a failure and the psychic must roll a corruption test. So I was going to try. But apparently not. So uh, roll damage again, please. Yeah, suck it. Uh, how many can I uh, 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 shift? Bring over? You can shift four. Yeah, it looks like awesome. four. So it's going to be uh, 20 plus four. So 24. Oh, 24 wow. damage. Blah. Yeah, this thing, this thing just is writhing back and forth. It lets out this keening screech as you come in and blast out two bolts of pure energy at it. It is incredibly agitated by this i um, imagine it's that dbz beam to where they're doing like a normal one and then they scream really loudly and then it's a bigger beam oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Bigger beam. absolutely um okay so with that um would you would any of you like to 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 interrupt at this point if you have any glory uh i would love to that I interrupt so that he can blast it with the funny sun gun. Um, I could, but then when it comes up, then I would it would be harder for me to counterattack. And I expect that it's going to charge somewhere on this flank. And I would rather save my counterattack and have my defense up. Yeah, but you could kill it. Um, there's a chance. Um uh, I I think that you should probably interrupt because you have the flamer. I mean, it's not as much damage. Like the flamer doesn't isn't really that exceptional in terms of damage. Do you want light it on fire it? in the sewage? I mean, might. Mm. Bro, that that sounds you. like bait. Don't take the bait, Erndil. Yeah, I'd rather not. I think I would. I would much prefer that someone with a big gun shoot it. Like you know, as opposed to me, my gun's really more for wiping out a lot of people at once. Mm -hmm. Not like big targets. Um, Zedek, you want to shoot? Fuck it, yeah. I'll get, yeah, give okay, me old, mark it down the glory and let's go. Give me old shocky shock. Mm -hmm. For a complication. Yeah. Poggers. Yeah, poggers. Okay. Zoggers. Um, Zoggers. 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 There's Nemo first. All right. So. This is when you uh, you do manage to hit it. Uh, you can't shift anything, sadly. Okay. But when you do hit it, um, you start like you feel your allergies set in um, because you're like you're allergic to gross things, and so your your allergies in the sewers have just started going off, and you start sneezing and coughing and gagging at the awful smell of like flaming uh, and like melted whatever this grub is this immense towering grub that's some like 20 feet tall out of the water um yeah so you can give me damage 15 ap minus one Ooh, very nice yeah it's looking pretty messed up here uh it's however going to go and uh, yeah. seeing as you just struck it, it rears its head back and lets out again this like keening like <laughs> as its mouth produces this blast of sludge. Mm, uh, and, and it's starting by hitting you and we'll see how it does. Sludge beam. Oh, OK. Crit. It crits you with its sludge beam. Oh, sludge that complicates, uh, by the way. 
Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, a crit and a complicate. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, okay. And actually, no, the, the complication will override the crit. Sad me, but I'll still do a bunch of damage. What's your defense as a, oh, it's two, you know. Oh, okay, good. So I'll shift two of these. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it'll only do 11 points of damage at AP minus two. As it like starts like chewing into your armor and like sizzling on you, uh, and you feel this just acrid, awful smell, and yeah, yeah, super fun. Okay, cool. Um, that is it's actually no, it just then like shifts up to there. Okay, as it like moves through the water, and you hear the splooshing of it. Uh, okay, that's it's go. Who'd like to go next? Oh, if Pi's not going to do it, I guess I'll flame it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to burn it with my laser flame gun of shooting do fire. Do it. Do it. Fire that flamer. Anything I could use. One glory, I'm going to save that for some other use. So I'm going to burn. Burninating the country. You hit it. Uh, it can't dodge or anything, so just give me Magio. Joe DiMaggio says it takes 11 points of damage. Okay, that seems to do a bit to it. And it's on fire, which is a thing. Cool. Uh, it doesn't seem like impeded, like mobility wise, but it's taking damage from the fire. So that is a thing. Okay. Um, at this point, Landon goes and like looks at all of you 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 you've dealt with this type of thing before this this abomination yeah I or last time smaller but yes i've actually got one that i've been dissecting but it's got nothing of value in it it's just another uh, rotten beast but fine uh he like hops in the water and rushes towards it Actually, no, 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 no. He actually spends his action moving around to here and raises up his shield kind of defensively. All right, so that's his go. Um, and then Pi, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so with my movement, would I be able to get to, like, right here? Uh, the church, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say oh, that's okay. cool. Very kind of you. I know I have a peg leg, so yep. wanted to make sure. All right, grand. Uh, and the reason I'm here is that I want to be playing defense for people. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay, Wait. cool. Uh, I'm going to rip into him with my master clapped Lemurian sword. And let's get fun. All right, that's going to be 10 successes. I assume I hit. Yes. Okay, sounds grand. And that will be, uh, unfortunately, somewhat low damage, but 13 AP3. Uh, okay, yeah, you, you start cutting into it. Um, can you mark me down a rune point, please? Sure. Zoran the Burr. Uh, okay, so as you swing into it, you do a bunch of damage uh, cutting, and you see your weapon is fairly effective. Uh, it seems to be tanking a bit of this. However, you do take one mortal wound as acid splashes on you as you cut into it. <laughs> Okay. I might didn't have to be slugs. All right, that's the end of the combat round. Doesn't Next combat round. Who would like to gun, go? Doesn't your plasma gun do way more damage than that pie brain? Uh, not typically. Remember, the shot that killed you was like four dice, all rolling mm -hmm. sixes to be twenty-one. Typically, I'm actually better off relying on my power sword. I see. It's more likely to hit, and uh, the damage it does isn't substantially less. In fact, if anything, it's probably a bit higher on average. Mm -hmm. All right, who would like to go first this round? I can do gaming. Actually, do crash too. So, Lord can go and shoot Molten Bean again. I am unbounded. I have three wrath die. Do the thing, What's Lord? the worst that could happen? Yeah, what's the Mol worst? Okay, I guess Fire I'll go. Molten Bean. All right, I, since I have to declare it first, I want to cast mm -hmm. Molten Beam at the start. And since I can basically mm -hmm. do two second powers, I guess, it's not a yep. penalty, right? Yeah, so uh, Molten Beam and Crush, that's the question. No, you are, at a penal you are at a penalty. It's just you can sustain without the penalty. Yeah, yeah, that's your you thing. You are right? correct, that's right. 
Yeah. Let's yep. let's give this so. a shot. We're gonna do molten bean first, and then we'll do crush. And then crush. Cool. All right, molten, molten bean, bean go. Bow. Ten and one. Ten. One okay, so you're gonna hit uh, roll damage, and you can shift three of those. Excellent. It's going to be Ugh. twenty-three. This is this thing is looking like rough. You score off more of it, like the beam just searing and like spewing out all sorts of acid. Can you mark me down a rune point? Good thing. And now for the crush. Uh, Pybrain, take two more points of acid damage. I'm a mortal wound from acid damage. And oh. now crush it. And now squeeze the juice out of it. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's not okay. That's too complicates. Uh, that will I still hit, greedy. but you can give me damage, yeah. Uh, then we'll do all the complicates at once, because, you know, reasons. Awesome. Um, okay, that does... Die. Sorry, hold up. And oh, yeah, you're good. Two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, Twelve total. Cool. It's it's heavily wounded. It's not quite dead yet. Uh, all right. Can you roll me two d six, please? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna do these here. Fifty two. Okay. Fifty two. All right. Life drain. A numbing cold washes out from you, leeching the very life essence of those nearby. Every living creature within twenty five meters, everything takes one d six, uh, or sorry, one d three shock, and all avians, plants, insects wither and die. Insects. Correct. Grub. Nice. I'm gonna take a shot. Is grub an insect? I mean, we'll see. Um, all of you just roll a d. Hey, can't you Actually, just here. Like, it'll just take a like a. It'll take the shot. You all take two. You all take two. I'm just rolling it because it's easier okay. than rolling. Okay. It's okay. Uh, now roll another two d six, please, Lauren Barnes. As like your blast hits it and like causes it to retract, uh, and then you get that, which is going to be plus twenty. So the watching. Oh, oh wait, sorry, not the watching. Uh, it's actually going to be twenty-two. Whispers in the dark. All the light sources grow dim and shadows pool thickly. Sinister whispers echo. Oh wow! Shut up, um, whispers. All, everyone within some sinister whispers and anyone around who can hear them, so all of you. Oh, gosh. Uh, everyone give me a corruption test, please. Oh, okay, how do, I, how do I pull that? Uh, so that is going to be your conviction. It's difficulty three. Conviction. What page is that on? That's been a bit. Yeah, there it is. It's on the, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. No bonus yeah, die, right? Um, no, no, uh, no bonuses. As I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take two glory. Hey, as I have the most corruption, do you actually mind if I take two? Fine. Thank you. I get four. Oh, I get two. Oh. Damn, I thought I was long. got a four. I don't know what I got yet. Zedek also got a four. He is pious and resolute. He is He's wrong. Res ah, pie brain seven. And a glory. And a okay. glory. Um, so you are you are hindered from this as like dark whispers reach into your mind, Reeb Van Horn, and they say, "There's a reason it's down here. He's doing more than just not looking after his ship. There's a reason it's here." Uh, as the the grub itself begins to wither and die, um, but as it as it does, uh, Reeb, you also gain a point of corruption. Thanks. You're welcome. Now you're a real inquisitor. <laughs> the the giant spray of acid hits over everything. Listen, I'm still at level zero, pure. I'm still fine. Mm -hmm. I would like to roll gallows humor. Okay. We don't need that right now. I do. I'm exhausted. Uh, hey. uh, give me just one minute. Keep talking. Sure. Well, that was uh, that was horrible, but we could be a, a bit worm for wear. But you know what? Worm like we'll keep... worm. Ah! <laughs> we'll just keep sludging along, I guess. Look, I'm I'm really fucking these up today. I liked worm. Oh, worm. Well, worm. Ah! Uh, you're gonna get. Me? You are going to get fellowship. Fuck. There you go. Do the fellowship roll. Yeah. It's the four to glory. So how many shock do we get back? Icons plus rank. So five. Yes. 
base. Good. Or, well, maybe more, but I don't know. Probably enough to bring us to max. Well, rank three, and technically we have four icons, so it would be seven. Yeah. Not, so you, you, your callous humor, ever, all of you get a, get a good shackle, and even Landon is like, <laughs> I suppose you are somewhat useful, then. So they say. So they say. The heart the of, runs the, down his cheek. of the team as, like, the, the, the generator unit, the, the filtration begins to activate, and the water seems to clear up. How often do you have to come down here and deal with threats like this? This is the second time. Ever. <laughs> the, the speed at which you said ever. <laughs> I take pride in knowing that not everything is ha could be my fault, knowing that things started going really fucky as soon as we all started traveling. I see. This is the well, then, it seems it seems you are doing quite well here, Reap. You have stalwart companions, it seems. As I'm in a corner vibrating with energy, like, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> after he's incurred a point of corruption that is telling him that Captain Zedek has such a bad run of ship, it may be considered that, you know, it's intentional rather than just incompetence. Yes, he, he is absolutely within in the hands of good companions. <laughs> I yeah. will be in the system for a bit. I believe this vessel is heading to Fimbria Majoris now. Wait, why are we going to Fimbria Majoris? Uh, the fuck is on Fimbria back. 4. Pi, our presence oh. was requested. We have to go back. Have you not told them, Captain? No, we kind of got immediately summoned down here by Reeb, and then the whole sludge thing happened. So, no. Why, why do we have to go back? Our good friend, Jeremiah Zelensk, has requested our presence on Fimbria Majoris. Oh, speaking of Zelensk. Did yes. you happen to get the missive I wrote regarding him? No, I uh, did not receive the missive. Oh, let me bring you up to speed. If you'll come to my quarters for a bit, I will I will show you the document I wrote up regarding him. Reeve says with a bit of maliciousness. Mm, of course, but I will warn you, I did when I came into system. Here's that they had summoned you. As it is my understanding that you are to perform a duty for one of the Primarchs. One of the Primarchs? Which one? They apparent we don't know. They apparently, well, Jeremiah Zelensk said that the missive came from on high and were being summoned for that purpose, so your guess is as good as mine. That if this has been confirmed, then that has certainly painted this in an interesting light. Yes. I can tell you exactly what it is, if you like. Well, what is it? But well, let's you discuss are... this let's in a better area. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> okay, sewer. yes! Sewer. This is very good! Pi is, Pi is uh, very obviously ecstatic and vibrating with energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... Oh, one sec. Roll 20, don't fail me now. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and so you, you head out of the sewer system with, with land and walking. Eventually, you, you head out and, and get to somewhere a bit, a bit more cozy uh, on, on the vessel. Landon turns. Yes, you see, what you will be doing is you'll be traveling to Fimbria Majoris to take on war supplies that are desperately needed on the front lines. Oh, we are transporting? That is correct. You will be transporting several important containers of equipment personally designated by the Primarch for the Astra Militarum forces on the fourth moon of Fimbria 4. Ah. Uh, very well. What's animal that supplies? Is... What was that? What 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 are we what does it contain? Is it just food, weapons? There's kind of this like thoughtful pause. Well you see how can I say this? The equipment is meant for the front lines. It is supplies designated by the, the Primarch to deal with the ongoing conflict in system. Uh, he is very sad that he will not be able to personally assist as they are only 
temporarily moving through the system. So he has requisitioned supplies. Will we be meeting with the Primarchs personally? I do not believe so. Well, they, they've heard of us, right? Oh, they have most certainly heard heard of you, yes. And, and uh, uh, what, what are the circumstances? What do they say? I cannot say. I do not know what goes through the hearts of the children of God or, the mind, or their minds. Mm, yes, I know, but uh, yes, it, it is very uh, uh, an honorific, uh, uh, good, nice, happy, good time, yes, to know that I, uh, I reign a servant of the Omnissiah and of Forge World Lemuria, have been requested with a mission from the Primarchs themselves. I wonder if they breathe fire like I've always been told. I do not know. I have never met them myself, but yes. I will be departing off at Vimbrae Majoris. Ah, you see, yes. what I will be doing is some work, follow-up work, with what you have started on the planet, particularly with regard to these cults. Inquisitor Harlan believes they may be connected to this whole situation. Very likely. That is what my assumption was as well. However, we've not had a whole lot of chance to follow up on it other than sending out missives to the Crusade fleet. Well, assuming you survive the situation on the fourth moon of Fimbria 4, then you will be authorized to continue your investigation into the Vakabi. Well, my plan is not to die, Landon, so presumably we will continue this. I will hope the fighting on Fimbria 4's moon has become quite intense. Hmm. Yes, I was told... These supplies are direly necessary. I understand. Um, uh, will you be sharing more word of a... Uh, what was it? Uh, the Melchior individual. Uh, will you be investigating them? If so, I am the chief of, chief of security and my chef of security. Secu no, the chef of security is Belba. I did that one in secret. You traded jobs with... Her? No, I'm the chief of security. Landon Belba. puts his, his hand on your shoulder, Pi like the metal the metal glove on your metal shoulder thank you friend I have all the information I needed from you be safe out there and then he takes it off and walks away down one of the dark corridors of the debt collector Landon he walks into shadow yes Reap my quarters if you don't mind I will meet you there there and then he disappears. And that's where we're going to end today's episode. Woo! Oh, yes. Woo! Hey, cool. We're he they're, the, they're the orcs. They're that's the right, they are. Remember? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Fimbria 4. Yeah. No. <laughs> Orc time. Uh, and there might be some uh, individuals waiting for us. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happened to that planet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is with us now, boys? That's right. <laughs> right uh, as we begin to leave, I hope you all give our players here a hearty wog, starting with Speaker D playing our guitar ranger, Pie Brain. Yes, I am Speaker D. I am one of the lead writers of If the Emperor Had a Text Speech Device. I am the voice of Act and other things, and you can find me on Twitter at Super Snake Kick, and I love you all very, very much. Next up, Inquisitorial Acolyte, played by Erendale, Reeb Van Horn. Yes, I am Erendale, and you can see me on Twitter writing things at at Erendilio. I do things. I retweet stuff. You can see it. I don't do much else publicly. Next. And Hulky Crow playing Captain, Z Captain Zedek, our resident rogue trader, Captain of the Debt Collector. Yep, that's me. I'm Hulky Crow. You can pretty much find me at at Hulky Crow on Twitter. That's really the only social I keep up to date with. Uh, you can also find me on Zorn's Discord server. That's uh, discord.gg slash Zorn the Bear. Uh, I'm the community manager there now. And I'm also All a right. voice actor for TTS. There's fun things in the works. Uh, Q&A sessions to be announced. More gaming events and casual hangouts. Please stop by. I'd be happy to talk with you. And of course, our amazing game master at on call GM Thurston Hillman. Thank you so much. Amazing session today. 
thank all of you and all your faces. Also, special thanks to to my partner Jamie Eastfeld at Jamie Eastfeld on the tweeters for drawing the cover of that uh, Love and Death Zedekit uh, erotic fan fiction, which I'm sure you all loved. Of course, mm-hmm. of yeah, course. delightful. So good, really delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I love books. That's it. That's it for me. I'll see you all next week for fantasy. I look forward to it. Yes, We're here every Warhammer weekend now. Fantasy. That's Remember, right. Go to uh, warhams.tv to see our schedule on the schedule menu area to see when we're live. If you ever like, man, I want to know when Warhams is live. What are they going to do throughout the month? That is where you go. Warhands.tv. Go to the schedule page. Find out when we're going live. It's basically every Saturday now. Sometimes we'll take a break. So be sure to see it so you know when we're live. So with that, everybody, let's give them a hearty wog as we leave. Three, two, one, goodbye. Well, yeah. uh, my copy of Zedekit at.